Welcome to the Zypha Show this Friday evening and how are we all doing? Excuse me, one second. <coughs> mm. Right, yeah, how are we all doing guys? Yeah, so tonight uh, it's US Gold Night. <laughs> Which also consists of their sub-labels Go, Epics, and they were also known previously as Datasoft. As you can see the logos on the top of the... Uh, thumbnail there so i'm including epics games go games some of the go games are good <laughs> trantor and all that kind of stuff and um i'm gonna be taking your request for us gold games tonight if you wanna if you are struggling to remember uh us gold games if you expand like the description under the stream video like uh, yeah click more or whatever you can see the full list of every us gold epics and go game i can find I might have missed a few here and there. I don't know. Should be, should be all there. And also, um, we this we also did part one of this uh, nearly a year ago. Um, it was August last year. And last year we didn't get through a lot of games. We just sort of chilled with quite a few, uh, really a few of them. But last year we got through California Games, UN Squadron, Shadow Dancer, Super Psycho, Cycle, sorry, Indiana Jones. Trantor, Black Magic, Chips Challenge, and Moonwalker. So that's what we did last year. Uh, and the, you know, there's hundreds and hundreds of like uh, US Gold games anyway. Uh, but I'm 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 okay with redoing any uh, some of them if, if people will really really want them. Also, also I know you I know US Gold is known for some really bad games at times. Yes, we all know about uh, <coughs> Outrun. Or, uh, yeah, it's backwards on the, the camera, of course. So I've, got, I've got my Outrun t-shirt on tonight because it's the only US Gold themed one I've got, I think. Um, but I know recently we've had a lot of crap games <laughs> featured on the channel. <coughs> Death Kick. <coughs> so tonight, if we can, um, let's play some good US Gold games. Let's find some really good US Gold games. Um, maybe uh, someone on the thumbnail might jog, uh, jog your memory and all that kind of stuff. So let's maybe try and find some good games from US Gold tonight. Uh, we'll take requests in the chat very, very shortly. Um, I'm going to do the greetings in a second. Uh, I should. Uh, I think there's two things I want to just talk about briefly, quickly tonight before we get started. Uh, one, uh, I wouldn't say I'm not feeling well. I would say um, my vision uh, is really, really bad at the moment. It's really, really blurry and really crap. So I'm going to try and take it a chilled stream this evening. I might take some breaks here and there. Um, as you know, last week's stream, uh, we ended up, I ended up having a Nokia migraine. If you don't know what they are, just, uh, Google them quickly. It's horrible. Horrible things. And I've had quite a few recently. I don't know why. I'm going to get back to the doctors about it. Um, and it means that my vision goes really crap for a week's on end. But it's really bad this evening. So I don't need uh, people to say, oh cancel the stream take the night off it would be there if i wasn't streaming and i'd be just sat either watching telly feeling a bit miserable and down in the dumpster i don't get to hang and chat with you guys so we'll see how it goes tonight and um yeah I i'd rather be spending it with you guys or you know uh and mrs iphone and stuff like that but i wouldn't want to be just sat there miserable so um we'll see how it goes tonight i might just take a few extra breaks here and there Although I don't think they really make any difference. If one's going to come on, it's just going to come on and that's it. 
Uh, if it does happen, then I'll take a break for about 20, 30 minutes. And, and if I'm feeling okay, I'll carry on. Because uh, for about 20, 30 minutes, your vision goes a bit, you can't see anything, basically. It's, it's yeah. So I can't do anything then. Uh, and if I feel okay afterwards, I'll carry on. Uh, if not, I'll say so. So don't you worry. Don't you worry, guys. Um, also, my Virgin, in Virgin Media Internet seems to die um, every night uh, around about 1am-ish. Uh, it's been about 1.30ish on average. It's done that every night. So if you're let there that late, don't worry. I will come back. I will come back. You just have to wait about two or three minutes. Okay, so if that happens and the stream should still say active, the chat will work, but you won't get any videos. But I will be back. Anyway, and the second thing to mention tonight, this is kind of like community announcements anyway, but, um, well, second thing to announce tonight, I see he's in the chat, so Mr. Yellow Belly. Um, if you guys are probably, may be aware, the Yellow Belly, along with Andrea Wyatt, the lovely Andrea, has been working on a book involving all the community. Um, Girl Afraid, aka um, Beardo's Missus, um, has been doing the box, the cover art for it. And there it is. There's the finished uh, artwork for it. <laughs> and basically, it's a book um, set in, I think, probably fantasy medieval times. And loads of people from the community is featured in the book. So we have um, Yellow Belly himself as Sir Yellow Belly on the cover there. There's Andrea herself, Lady Andrea, uh, laying on the floor there, looking very nice. But we also have people like Pete Walker, Novabug, 8-Bit Rage, Clanny, Anna, um, uh, Technic, The Opposite Veneer, GP Texie, Craig Harrison, Sean Neary. Yes, Sean's in, yes, Sean, you're in there as well, if you didn't know, mate. Um... We got Retron Lim in there, Johnny Boy, Gorker, Mikey, Janie, Simi, Weebob, Amstradler, FC Den Hog, Beardo himself, Girl Afraid, uh, DVD and Film Bloke, um, Monkey Jesus, which he which he'd come back every now and again. We'd love to see him again. Um, who else have we got in there very quickly? Swevicus, uh, John Gage, Moore, Jez Dukes, Kev House, Simon Green, Arnie the Viking, uh, Sam. Flibble San, Big Joffa, um, Stephanie Lang, Robin Hawk, OSG's in there, Lucas, Brian Hooper, Gangrel, um, Smoothie, and the villain Roland Footlong, which we won't talk about tonight. And so loads and loads of the community in there. If you want to get a copy of the book, uh, it'll be around about the £10-ish mark, and maybe post a packaging involved. And Yellow Belly in his Discord will be taking uh, orders for that um, in his Discord channel. So Yellow Belly, if you're here, please feel free to post a link to your an invite link to your Discord, or uh, you can come in my Discord and just go in the general chat and tag Yellow Belly if uh, he can't find his thing. There you go. That is a fantastic thing. It's done for the community, not for profit. It's just a bit of a laugh. So. Uh, Yes, movie, you're in there as well. And Novabug, uh, Novabug's in there as well. And a few, quite many, 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 many others. Uh, we'll see. And also, if anybody is not in it, uh, maybe, maybe if this goes well, there might be a sequel. And we'll get more of you in there. But obviously, <laughs> no, there's, there's, there's many, many hundreds of people in the community. So don't be uh, despondent if you're not in there. Maybe there could be a follow-up one day if this goes well. Who knows? I'm already getting you doing a sequel, Yellow Belly. Sorry, mate. <laughs> anyway, so there you go. That's the that's the adventures of Yellow Belly. So yeah, that was it? It's the adventures of Yellow Belly. There you go. I look at him on the cover there. Conan the Perverian, as I called him earlier. <laughs> there we go. Oh, there you go. Yellow Belly is supposed to link to his Discord there. Thank you, matey. Thank you. I should have had that ready. I'll post a link there. And just but you will see the channel in there if you're interested in getting a hold of a copy. Right, okay. Um, so what I'm going to do uh, is we're going to do the greetings and see who's in the chat tonight. And uh, I might just speed this up a little bit tonight because uh, I don't want to waffle on too long. Um, but first in the chat tonight was the gaming hamster. Good evening. Today I've chucked Outrun in the bin. Happy gaming. Oh, my beloved Outrun. 
Yes, I'm not a fan of it on the abstract, let's just say either. Neil Lovely, welcome to the stream as well. Welcome, my friends. Welcome, welcome. I think he needs a bit of help later on getting his joystick working with Winnie, if anyone's willing to help him out. Um, Saboteur uh, is here, sneaks in, fishes outrun from the bin and sneaks out. Saboteur is a secret outrun CPC fan. Bloody hell. Poor bloke, poor bloke. I hope you get some help for that, mate. Uh, Oxo Good is here. Good evening, Oxo. Bright and early, nearly 50 minutes early in the chat there. Welcome, Oxo. How are you doing, man? Uh, we have Greg McGregor. Good evening, Greg. How are you doing, man? I think I've got a notification that you posted a link to me page. I didn't have time to check it out, but I will uh, I will do later. But Greg, welcome, man. How are you doing, dude? And thank you for your support. Next in, we've got the lovely Brian Hooper. Uh, I thought I did crap games a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> yeah, so we want to start off, at least, at least start off the night by trying to find some good US Gold games. We'll, we'll get some suggestions in the chat shortly. Welcome, Brian. I hope your week's been good. We've got Yellow Belly himself then was next to the chat. Welcome. Greetings, Yellow Belly. And uh, great work you've been doing, mate. Really, really impressive stuff. And next thing we've got Mr. Matt Lee. Good evening, Matt. Nice to see you back here again, mate. Ah, we have someone from another person from the US in here tonight. Uh, you are indeed US gold yourself, Matt. Welcome. Uh, D Nuke. Good evening, D Nuke. Rocking the Robocop avatar as always. Welcome, D Nuke. And lovely to have you here, mate. Um. Amma Smythe is in the chat as well, but he can't stay for long. I'm sorry, Amma Smythe. I hope everything's okay with you, though, buddy. But nice of you to pop in and say hello. Uh, we have Simon Large in the chat as well. Welcome, Simon. Excuse me. Sorry there, Simon. I've had to, like, absolutely wolf my breakfast down really quickly this evening. Not all, not your skull, but has anyone heard of Le Abbey de Mortz on uh, Matchiverse? It's popped up in American radiations a few times in the past few days. Quite nice if a bit grim game. Uh, I've heard of that one. I don't think I've played it. Um, can, uh, does it does it require you to know French or Spanish? Uh, but feel free to let us know more in the chat on that one. Um, Joe, we got Ahoy, Johnny boy. Good evening, my fellow land lover. What, what grog are you drinking this evening, matey? Welcome, my friends, as always. Lovely to have you here. And we've got a Dreamy. The Dreamy artist is here. Welcome, Dreamy. I hope all is good with you. And uh, welcome, welcome. Uh, we have a Sean M. Neary. Dang my poons. Although we got all his messages <laughs> deleted earlier for saying a naughty word. Smack on the wrist for Sean. <laughs> no worries, matey. How are you doing, man? Good to see you again, dude. God damn it. The heat. Mrs. Zypho has got the bloody heating on. It's absolutely roasting in here now. Um, I'm going to turn it off in a minute. Right. Uh, we have an MC Denhog in the chat as well. Good evening, matey. How you doing, man? I had great fun on the uh, quiz last night on your stream. That, um, what the dub is. Really good fun. Yeah. Let me know if you're going to be doing more streams of that. I'm tempted to get it myself, actually. But if it's going to be your, your thing, I won't bother. I'll let you do that. Uh, we have German78 mushing into the stream. Yeah, they did. They did. The US Gold did do some good games and stinkers in equal measure. Oh, he's not a fan of Tiger Roads, though. Yeah, that drove me up, up, up the bloody wall last time I played it, Tiger Roads. But uh, maybe we'll check it out again tonight. Uh, we've got Texi88 coming into the stream singing some cure songs there. Welcome, Texi. How you doing, man? We have Robin Hook, the retro games with, with sorry. <laughs> Welcome, my fellow Ams fan. How you doing, man? Nice to have you here again. We have the lovely Kate White, a.k.a. the Tattoo Tarot, and a.k.a. Mrs. Zypho. And she says, evening, Zyphonette. Oh, good Lord. <laughs> oh, let's just stick with Ams fans. There we go. Thank you, Mrs. Zypho, for my lovely lasagna for my breakfast. <laughs> to wolf down about 10 minutes before the stream started. Um, Moosa, we've got a Moosa in the chat, good evening Moosa, nice to have you back here yet again mate, awesome stuff, welcome man, how are you, um, <clears throat> scrolling on, we have Nish and CPC game reviews here, good evening Nish, how are you doing man, 
Oh my god, this room is getting so hot. I'm just gonna turn the uh, heating off. Give me uh, 20 seconds, guys. Sorry. Nothing misses like fire and her heating. Hey. <laughs> right. Okay, next in. Hey, we've got a welcome return for the video fiends. Hey, video fiends. How you doing, mate? Lovely to see you again, dude. How have you been? The video fiend was my uh, one of my earliest supporters when I was started live streaming and before uh, watching videos on the channel and stuff like that. So I appreciate you, dude, and it's nice to see you back here again, mate. How the devil have you been, mate? Welcome, man. Welcome. And we've got Chiefy in the chat as well. Good evening, Chiefy. How you doing, buddy? Lovely to see you again, mate. Oh, thank you, FC Deadhog, for going. Thumbs up for the stream. Let's see what we're on at the moment. 18 likes. Now, um, oh, yeah, just quickly, last week, it, people were very confused why there were so few like likes on the stream. And also, they were disappearing and going down in number. They went up to 25 at one point, then they dropped down to 20, then went up to 22, went down to 18. There's a bug at the moment on YouTube with likes and dislikes not showing up. So, uh, if they show up, if they're a bit low this evening again, that's why. Um, uh, in the end, last week's stream was on like 90. You can see my analytics. Last week's stream was on like 92 likes or something like that. But only 20 of them show up. So, it's, it, it, YouTube has confirmed it's a bug. But please do click the like and the thumbs up button for me because it helps get the stream more advertised on Google and suggested to people and new people will find us and stuff. It still makes a difference. So, thank you guys if you have done already. Um, Alright, scrolling through quickly. We have the lovely Andrea Wyatt in the chat as well as you saw her posing rather lovelyly on the uh, box art, uh, the, uh, the book art there. <laughs> Welcome, Andrea. Looking fabulous on that. And you're fabulous as always. Welcome. I hope you've had a good week, Andrea. Uh, next in, we have... Let's scroll through. We have the man shovel in the chat. My own US gold. How are you doing, man shovel? Uh, can't check because I'm still at work, but I'm listening. Hopefully, ho hopefully everyone's having a fantastic Friday evening. I'll join you guys later. Hey, no worries, man, Shovel. Cause, uh, yeah, I bet it's like late afternoon where you are at the moment, isn't it? So I uh, hope work's not too bad for you, man. But nice of you to pop in and say hello. We'll see you here later. Uh, if I miss anyone, I do apologise. I'm going to scroll through and speed up a little bit here. Um, Sean says, please not final fight again. <laughs> when did we last do final fight? He said, it, Sean reckons I did Final Fight a few weeks ago. I can't remember playing it in bloody ages. What stream was that, Sean? That's, I'm, I must be losing my uh, memory and mind in my old age. Who knows? Vimster! Good evening, Vimster. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Breakthrough was a terrible conversion. Good lord. Yeah. Are you, oh, are you suggesting it's a good game? So I apologise <laughs> if you like it. Hey, Retro Rewind. Hey, nice to see you here, man. Um, I was chatting to him earlier. We might be doing um, a little interview and chat at some point soon, hopefully. And uh, uh, hopefully I've got the right channel. Yeah, yeah, it will, it's the right one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, he did, he's done a recent interviews uh, I saw this morning where, after I spoke to you, actually. I was like, bloody hell. you got Steve Benway, Larry. Um, who else? He says a really good interview, so check out the Retro Rewind channel, but it's Retro with a zero at the end instead of an O, and you'll find it. Welcome, matey. We also have a Smooth MJ moonwalking into the stream. Smoothie, lovely to see you again, mate, and I hope your week's been okay. And I hope you've recovered after that bloody awful um, Fear the Walking Dead episode we were ranting about together. How you doing, Smoothie? Um... All right, I'm going to scroll on here. Respergu, Lord Respergu, good evening, sir. How are you doing as well, my friend? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, but <laughs> thank you for your support as always, dude. We have Retro or Busts here in the chat as well. Welcome, Rob DeLorean. How are you doing, mate, matey? How's tricks and how's the DeLorean going? 
Sean says, if I hear me up tomorrow, I've got an idea if I could probably read some of your old videos. Oh, okay, matey. Just drop me a DM on Facebook uh, and I'll pick it up later after the stream. I'm sure you'll still be up to having a few bevies anyway, so I'll perhaps chat to you when I've, when I've done tonight. Um, we've got uh, Darren Carl in the chat as well. Good evening, Darren. Well, <laughs> what's up, my fellow abs, dude? How are you doing, man? Good to see you back here again, matey, and I hope your week's been good. Uh, Tall Paul, good evening as well. Good to see you back here, mate, as well. Uh, it says hello to all of the chat. Hey, man, how you doing? How you doing? Uh, we have a no overbug in the chat as well. Hey, Chris, how you doing, matey? Please feel free to let the chat know if you're streaming tomorrow evening, what time and what you're doing, of course. I assume it's the bug stream, tape loading and all that, so uh, maybe you can tell the chat which games you got planned or something. Uh, we also have, scrolling through, I'm, oh god, my chat window just re-scrolled itself. Right, uh... Right, if I missed anyone, I do apologise. I think I know where I am now. We have a Gangrel here as well. Welcome, Gangrel. <coughs> Excuse me. How you doing, matey? Yes, you're in the book as well. Awesome stuff. We have 80s Retro Gamer in the chat as well. Welcome, my friends. <coughs> Let me just uh, meet the my friend. Sorry, my throat's getting really dry there. Welcome, 80s Retro Gamer. And we have Mark Whatever here as well. Good evening, Mark. House tricks, my friend. Uh, we have Rainer in the chat as well. Uh, now we're going to try and avoid the bad games, Rainer, if we can tonight. We're going to try and find good US games. Good US gold. Good US gold games. Or at least decent. Uh, good. Let's try and avoid the crap ones tonight. Bob from Soiree Games as well. Welcome, my friends. House tricks, Bob. And. Um, Oh, he was wanting some Turbo Outrun in a bit. Mm, yeah, it could be all right. could be all right. Uh, we have Wolfie in the chat. Hey, Wolfie. But you're lurking tonight. No worries. You engage lurk, lurk mode. <laughs> welcome. Welcome. Hope all is with you. Uh, who turned the heating on then, Mrs. Ifo? If you didn't. See that old git. <laughs> Wasn't bloody me. Um... All right, FC Den Hog. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll talk to you about that off stream. So I don't want to tread on your toes if this is that's become your thing. Uh, Zombie Beaks. Hey, welcome, Zombie Beaks. Another OG of the Am stream. How you doing, man? We have the Avocet Paneer here as well, matey. Hello, Avocet. I hope your um, internet holds up tonight. We have Jimmy Taylor in the chat as well. Hello, lovely Jimmy. And hello to Jamie as well. She's watching with you. What, what are you guys drinking this evening? Uh, Nathan Randall, welcome back to the Amstream, my friends. I hope you're doing okay, dude. And uh, I hope you have a nice time here tonight. Tactical Pirate Daz. Arr, shiver me timbers. Let's hope I'm not going to walk the flag tonight for too many bad US goal games. Welcome, Tactical Pirate. We also have the Ultimate Kitten back on the Amstream. Welcome. Kitten claws his way in. Meow. I uh, hope you are all well. Hey, good to see you again, Kitten. I uh, hope all has been good with you. Welcome back to the Amstream. I hope you have a nice time here tonight. Um, yes, that sounds tough, Smoothie. Synchronized data between the many servers. Blimey. I missed what discussion was before that, though, Smoothie. Sorry, dude. Uh, Neutrino Fire. Hey, how you doing, matey? This Tapo is the only good US goal game I can think of. Mm. Mm. Well... Probably divide opinion on a lot of these games, but um, we're allowing games from Go. So Trantor, we all know, is a great game. Will be allowed tonight. Although we did cover it last time. I think it was your last arcade to Amsterdam. Oh no, we did final. I'm sure final fight we did in a year, over a year ago on that. So it might have been a different stream, but um, I don't remember doing it, Sean. I don't remember playing Final Fight. It's not the greatest game in, in the world anyway, so um, we'll see how it goes. Right, nearly caught up the greetings, and then we'll get to the uh, then we'll get to the gaming. Nice to be here to get some Amstrad goodness as Retro Rewind. Retro, we rewind. Uh, what do you know about the Amstrad? Did you have one growing up, or is it something you became interested in in later years? Let me know. We'll give you a bit of an education tonight, if, if so. <laughs> if you didn't have one. 
And we also have... Oh, uh, Noble Bug has a bit of Green Beret tomorrow, 10 p.m. And it's live testing indeed. So, you've got your Saturday night sorted there, guys, on Nova Bug stream. We also have Mame Haze. Hey, Mame Haze, how was your stream? He was streaming this evening doing our main and arcade stuff. And good games, I believe, tonight as well. Uh, how was your stream, matey? Okay, FC Denmark, I'll, I'll still have a chat with you anyway. It's just courtesy, isn't it, matey? Um, Zai's head is huge, bloody hell. I can shrink myself down if you want. Uh, <laughs> I want to scare anyone in your house. T Dog, good evening. Welcome, 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 welcome. And Neutrino Fire. I actually like E Swats. I quite enjoy playing it. I know. It's a guilty pleasure. Right. And have a set. No worries about getting to look, my dude. Right. Let's take the suggestions for the first game tonight from US Gold. What would you like to see? Let's start off with a banger tonight. And I'll choose the most interesting one that I see appear in the chat. Um, oh, May Hate is not too bad. I had a nice chat with people on the stream. Someone, somebody joined who was able to con contribute some useful dev manuals. which should help improve a plug and play or two. An excellent, May Hayes. I'm glad it went well, dude. Good, good stuff. Good stuff. Uh, Retro Rewind says, never had an Amstrad. I was a C64 kid. Don't hate. Don't worry. We have plenty of people that come in the Am stream, like Old Style Gaming and others. Who never had an Amstrad, hated them growing up, but they still come in the Amstream and they are very, very much uh, welcome and part of the community. We have quite a few Specky Boys here as well. <coughs> Johnny Boy. <laughs> um, Bruce Lee is a good, good shout. Turbo Outrun from Bob again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trantor. Forgotten Worlds. That's not bad. That's not bad. Let's see what else uh, uh, people come up with. I'm going to have to turn my fan on. It's absolutely roasting in here. Hang on. Kitchen, I definitely want to do 720 tonight because I want to play uh, the ramp level. Because well, I was on Yellow Belly stream on Sunday, we were talking about the TV program First Class, which is an old UK kids like quiz show, and they used to have little gaming segments. And I used to watch um, kids playing 720 degrees on the arcade version. And like, I always wanted that on my Amstrad, and it's got me thinking about playing that again. So even though it was a particularly great conversion. Strider's cool. It's not a great version on the Amstrad, but we may do that later. Breakthrough? Bloody hell, I thought that was terrible, Neutrino Fire. But we can check it out in a bit, yeah. Any of the Gauntlet ports? Do you know what? Gauntlet, I don't think we... I hardly played much Gauntlet on the uh, Amstream. It's never been a game I fell in love with, but it is one of US Gold's best, isn't it? Mmm. Mmm, and that's true, Mame Hayes, about 720 in the controls there. Shall we start off with a little bit of Gauntlet? I won't play it for long, but it is a banger, isn't it? That's, a, that's maybe a good one to start the stream. Yeah, why not? Let's uh, see if I've got the disc handy, first of all. Okay, let me just get rid of the uh, thumbnail there. And we'll get our first game up tonight. Oh, yeah, sure, that's right. That's because Gordler is essentially Gremlin graphics. Yeah, it's the team from Gremlin, isn't it? Right, I'm going to put my music down a touch and then pause it. Data set one. Have I got the right game here? Uh, oh, no, I think... 
Oh no, this is the one from Micropower. That we do not want that one. <laughs> There's a, there are uh, uh, there is another game called Gauntlet. Um, oh, actually, Gauntlet. That one is actually a nice Defender clone. Actually, it's not too bad that one. Uh, I don't know why I don't have the disc for this one handy. I will download it very quickly. Uh, oh, CPC game reviews. I see on the CPC Power website there is a fixed version of Gauntlet which, which you contributed towards. Uh, Nish, can you tell us more about that? I'll download that disc and I'll use that one. Um, I'll show you in the chat in a second, actually. Uh, just downloading the disc now, guys. Sorry, guys, to keep you waiting. How shocking I don't have Gordon in my disc collection. I know it's in another folder somewhere, but uh But yeah, the CPC Power website. I've just downloaded this disc. Uh Gauntlet original but fix in brackets. And it's got Nicholas Campbell fix. Uh so it's Nish, CPC game reviews in the chat. Yeah, it was version of this dump. There you go. So Nish, let us know what the um fix was and what was needed. Right, okay. Let's get some Gauntlet up. Same, that's all the music we get there. And program for US Gold by Gremlin Graphics. I see what you're saying. And uh, so really, this is a Gremlin game, but you know, published and presented by US Gold. It's got US Gold's logo on the box there. Um, but there you go. So, yeah, <clears throat> game program by Tony Porter. Uh, music by Ben Daglish. Even though it was a very short, the jingler music there. Um. Okay, magic button is the F keys, F2, 3, 5, 6, 8, 9, right, I have to try and remember that. Uh... Right, okay. Right, one or two players, really, <clears throat> I, I suppose Gauntlet is, um... oh no, it chose, oh, for goodness sakes. I hit the wrong key there, it's gone in two player mode. Uh, let me just load this up again very quickly. Gauntlet is a game really best with two players. Gauntlet 2 music is longer. Right. Sorry about that. Right, choose one player. But as I was saying, this is a game really to be played with a friend, in my opinion. What do you reckon, guys, is the best character? I always just go for the standard warrior. We've got the Valkyrie, Merlin, and Qu Queshaw. How do you pronounce that? Queshaw? Queshaw? The elf? I'm sure like Queshaw, like Quest or something. Brian Hooper says pick the wizard. Okay. Hey, Manic Panic! Good evening, dude. Welcome, 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 welcome. Oh, CPC Game Reviews there. Um, levels 32 and 64 of Gauntlet are corrupted in the original disc copies and will crash the game. Blimey. I uh, extracted the level data from the cassette version and patched it into the disc version. Right. Well, well done, matey. Well done on that. Uh, I always had a Valkyrie, good mix of magic and firepower. Um, although Retro Boss says use the elf. Oh, well, I can't wait too long. Let's, um, we have too many men in video games. Let's choose the lady. I'll go for the Valkyrie. Uh, I need glasses. You know, the elf's name is Questor. Oh, is it? It looks, oh. Sorry, I thought that T looks like looked like a H there or something, and it just joined onto the O. Is how they've done the graphics. Like it's Questor, right? Uh, yeah, it's because like the uh, there's like a top next to the, the top of the T, the left bit is like a dark grey colour, not white. But, uh, hey, no matter, doesn't matter. 
So we'll go, oh, Robin picked the Valkyrie as well. So, okay, good stuff, good stuff. Are you, oh, Robin's telling me how to pronounce it. Sorry, I couldn't see it very well there. I'm trying not to just stare too too closely at the screen anyway because of me bad eyes this evening. Right. Prepare to play. Nice jingle there, music. Level one. Uh, that's, all right, that's just for score. And we've got to get rid of the spawn points, haven't we? And that will stop the enemy spawning. We could exit there to the next level, or if you take the key and open this. Right. If you get them off the screen, they won't spawn in anymore. I don't know the best way to play uh, Gauntlet. Is there any tactics I should be employing, guys? Let me know. I got rid of that spawn point. There'll be one over here. Oh! Tom Spawn with the 199. <laughs> hey, Tom Spawn. Did you hear about the Scarecrow that won an award? Did you hear about the Scarecrow that won an award? He was outstanding in his field. Oh, the bad jokes there. Tom Spawn, thank you very, very much, mate. Let's see the bananas rain down for Tom Spawn on our first dodo tonight. Thank you, matey. Thank you very, very, very much. I appreciate that, dude. And uh, cheers, matey. How you been, Tom Spawn? Good to see you again, matey. And I hope you're keeping well, man. That's very kind of you, man. Cheers, man. That's awesome. Ba oh, 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 all the bananas are coming in there. And tonight is dad joke night. Yes. Keep, keep the dad jokes coming if you feel like it, guys. I can't destroy them quick enough to get to the, kill the spawn point. Do we just take hits just to get there? Oh, a bit of slow down there. And... Oh, I see. She can only shoot one at a time. Right. Ugh. Oh, shall we unleash all the ghosts? Draw them over here. Is this the way to do it, guys? I never know with Gauntlet. I've always found this game a bit overwhelming. <laughs> ah! Or should I just barge in there and just go mental on these ghosts? I don't know. Good to hear, Tom Spum. Thank you again, matey. That's very, very kind of you. Taking, oh my god. Taking damage. Right, the ghosts take three hits to kill. Is that the tactic, just like, take them out a bit by bit? Or is my health going to just run down? Because it runs down anyway. Hey, Odie. How you doing, matey? Uh, I tried to write my own version of the Caves of Hall War. Just published in a German magazine. Oh! Is that actually... Uh, I wonder if there's a download disc for that anywhere, dude. We have to check that out one night. Oh, don't shoot the food. I'm just going in there. Oh, no. There's more portals to kill. Let's 
just take the exit. There we go, level eight. Hey, Arnie the Viking. Good evening, dude. Oh, there's a wizard there. Oh no, why did the wizard spawn in? I think we've activated two player mode accidentally. Uh oh. Uh oh, I don't, I don't know. We're gonna have to get the wizard killed somehow. Otherwise, I don't think we're gonna be able to progress. I think it's shift or control that starts him. Oh bloody hell! Go on then. Let's see if we can get the wizard killed. Maybe if I just sit here in the corner. There you go. That, that should do the trick. What have you uh, learned there, Arnie, on your trivia hunt on Gauntlet? How you doing, Arnie, anyway? Good to see you again, man. The other download on your website. We'll have to check that out on another stream, dude. That'll be cool. Um, you can push him. He's dying anyway. I think I'm going to die here as well. Oh, look at his health flashing away. Oh, no, 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 no. Use the magic there. Get rid of the portals as quick as you can. As you can tell, guys, I'm terrible at gauntlet. <laughs> I didn't know you could push him though, that's interesting. Right, got rid of the portal. Oh, there's one at the top there, let's get rid of that. Oh! Oh, bloody hell. Is that Mrs. Zypho? Kate has donated one pound. Says, what do you call a progressive Ewok? Ewok. God. What do you call a progressive Ewok? Ewok, eh? Ah! <laughs> the, uh, the text of speech fails you there. <laughs> Ewok, eh? <laughs> oh, man. Uh, bananas in the chat there. For, I believe that was Mrs. Zypho. Or maybe someone posing as her, but it may well have been her. <laughs> Good lord, you daft old bat. Uh, Odie says, are you going to play all the claims of Gauntlet as well? Like Druid, Dandy, Ranarama, Mr. Wheels, uh, Mr. Weems and the She-Vampires? No, because we're just doing US Gold games tonight. So that gets me out of that one. Via Exifo. It was Mrs. Zypho. How dare you call me an Ewok on my own stream? You're supposed to be supportive of me. I'm deeply offended and and, and insulted. Ewok A. <laughs> like Ewok only French. A French Ewok. Good lord. So this is what I don't understand a bit about Al uh, Gauntlet. For me, I don't know. Is it just me, guys? Or but does the gameplay get a little bit monotonous? Like, get a big bunch of enemies, scroll off the screen. Oh my goodness! Retro rewind! Oh my god, with the five pounds! Oh, you can have some extra dancing sugars for that! It says, did you hear about the drive through bakery scone in 60 seconds? Oh my god. <laughs> the dad jokes are coming in thick and fast now. Let the bananas rain down for retro re... Excuse me, guys. Sorry. Let me to burp at you there. Retro Rewind on his first, I think, Amstream. I think it's the first time here tonight. And it's came and dropped in a £5 donation. Mate, thank you very, very, very much. 
And um, if you haven't already, I was going to do this in a bit anyway. I'll do it now. Um, hang on, let me find it again. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. True. Rewind. If you haven't already, go and have a look at Retro Rewind's YouTube channel. Oh, my goodness. I've just seen something you've done there. Um, let the bananas rain down for Retro Rewind, of course, there. I'll just turn these off for now. Um, I'm going to post a link in the chat to Retro Rewind's YouTube channel. Uh, you'll find he has done interviews. He's done, I think you've not long started up doing these. But he's done interviews with Dave Perry, the games animal. That is his most recent one. Interview with uh, Larry Bundy Jr. Guru Larry. An interview with Steve Benway. He's the one that really got me started on YouTube. So I'll have a lot to talk about him. Um, and I can see, like, oh, he's done game, uh, videos on Granny's Garden, Gauntlet we're playing right now, Hard Driving. Oh, he's done a video on First Class. We were just talking about that earlier. Awesome. So, yeah, go and give his uh, channel um, a subscription and a follow and all that kind of stuff. Let me show. I should have shown you, actually, in the browser. There we go. <laughs> there you go. That was one day ago, an interview with Dave Perry. If you remember him from Games Master and stuff. Interview with Larry there. Good stuff. An interview with Steve Benway. I was watching a bit of that this morning after I messaged you. And yeah, first class there, Gauntlet. Looks like a great YouTube channel. Let's get him up a few more subs tonight. Hey, excellent. Hope uh, There you go. Brian's just solved and stuff like that. Thank you, Retro Rewind. Very kind of you. Right, I better get back on the gaming. Well, what was I saying? Um, I don't know. I know there are big, big fans of Gauntlet here. And it's a classic early arcade game. And and, and Amstrad one. Just took so much damage there. But I, I don't know if I just end up finding the gameplay a bit monotonous at times. It's come across a horde of enemies. Uh... Move off the screen, take out a few, go back, let a few more come on the screen, take them out. Am I am I playing Gauntlet wrong? Put it that way. But what I will say is I love the graphics, I love the sprites, in the, they're tiny, but they're detailed uh, and well animated. Ah. Uh, nice, lovely use of colours, nice sound effects. Uh, it would be nice to have more music. Right, I've got rid of the spawn thing. Awesome, thank you guys. Quite a few people there uh, said they've gone and uh, subscribed. Oh, we got John Hare next week. Awesome stuff. And, uh, okay. Uh, was making games allowing multiple shots at the same time difficult then? There are a number of games that you have to wait for a shot to hit before you can fire another. So, yeah, I, yeah I'm saying that I don't know if the different characters have different attributes here. But, yeah, the Valkyrie can only shoot one at a time. Uh, I don't know if the, um, the Barbarian guy with his axe can show, fire multiple axes. Hey, Arnold, yes. Uh, bu uh, buenas noches. Oh, hello. Hello. Hi from Spain. Welcome, my friend. Welcome. Right. Uh, oh, so uh, Batman. Ba hey, Batman as well. Welcome, dude. It says it's more fun with the barbarian. You can blast through it faster and go for the bases more quickly. Right. Oh! Why did that door open and I hadn't used a key? What happened there, guys? Did you guys see that? Ah! Oh, my... Uh, Arnor... 
my, my Spanish is terrible. Terrible. So uh, I can speak very, very little. So I apologize. <laughs> Isn't Buenos Noches good night, not good evening? Uh, I don't know. Buenos night. I don't know. I'm going to get a Spanish lesson now. <laughs> Oh, the magic was didn't clear all the enemies away there. Oh. My magic is weak. Alright, I'm probably playing this wrong. catch fish with their bare hands good lord that's that's the worst one so far <laughs> but thank you uh kind donator there zypho's left nipple good lord who is that mrs zypho again who knows who knows or is that a naughty gp oh well bananas in the chat anyway for the kind donator there that the bananas right down <laughs> Thank you, uh, kind donator there. It's Retro on Lim here. Good evening, Retro on Lim. Welcome, matey. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Alstrix, man. Are you working tonight? Uh, sometimes the doors open automatically. Nice game design the idea in case you have no more keys. Oh, I didn't know that. Thank you, Odie. If we eat longer, all walls will turn into exits. Really? Wow. Uh, they open if you stand around too long. Uh, it's the stuff you get, stuff you haven't collected enough keys. Right, thank you, Batman, there as well. And Sean as well, there, sorry. I, I never knew that in Gauntlet. I've not played this much, to be honest with you. Uh, I think Buenas Noches can uh, mean either good evening or good night. Right, so Buenas Noches. Buenas Noches. Oh, no. <laughs> hey, Alex Ogle, good evening. Welcome, Alex. For anyone wanting a laugh, look up the story on uh, CP24 about Canadian construction being fired for partying with a stripper on site. Locked down with these strange things to people. Good lord, mate. Sounds like fun. <laughs> oh no, I just shut the food! Or oh, the, uh, the drink, whatever. Again, I don't know if I'm... I think I'm playing... I think I'm not playing this right at all. I'm taking way too much damage and my health is nearly gone. And I'm only on, what, level 8? A bit of health there. Level 9. Like, isn't there like 50 odd levels or 100 levels? I don't know. What the hell is this? Is this like a is this a bonus level? Oh no! Oh, I didn't mean to go into. Oh. That was a bonus level, and I screwed it up. Whoa! Who's throwing balls at me? Oh, these are port, uh, portal warp thingies. Right. Oh, we need to destroy that quickly. My health is really low. So what am I doing wrong in Gauntlet, guys? I mean, I asked this question earlier. Uh, I'm only level 10. My health's nearly gone. Oh, you're going to pay. I think I'm about, yeah, I'm going to die on this, aren't I? Oh, 
Oh, you can destroy these rocks to get by. And I died. There you go. Right. Uh, so I think not doing anything wrong. Just too much. Uh, just uh, there's just too much there uh, for one player to deal with. You need to play the second player, as you get infinite credits for as long as one is still alive. Oh, and, and Sean's got another tip coming. I think as well. Right. This treasure chest looks like fireplaces. They do. They do. Actually, I always thought they were. Actually, funny enough. Oh no, it says with second player second player in game is is better game. Yeah. Nightwolf, we would love to do that. We're trying to work on getting like an online emulator. As soon as we can work something out, oh mommy oh my god, the streams we could do, the possibilities as well. There's somewhat that there isn't an online emulator we can use that we can have uh, care what play over the internet with at the moment but there is someone who's part of the am squad and often here in the chat who is working on uh, something to get that running and he's making progress he's making progress omg it's osg how you doing old star gaming <laughs> the light gets to those great looking screenshots of the boxes Yes, US Scott had a tendency to put mocked up screenshots in the back of their boxes. Yes. But we had the same problem on the Amstrad. Uh, Tullball says, I always found this tricky as a kid. Stand back and fire was my tactic. Older me realizes you have to knock out heavy. The enemy generators ASAP. Yes. Yeah. It's a mixture of both. Mixture of both, Tullball. Right, okay. Um, what we can... Uh, okay, we're going to move on. So can I have some more requests and suggestions in the chat for the next game? Let's have another good US Gold game. Let's uh, let's see what the suggestions are. And OSG, I really enjoyed your new video. I, I literally watched it this morning uh, before I went to bed. Uh, OSG's done the uh, top 10, or top 20 maybe, sorry, worst arcade ports to the Commodore 64 video. And it's, uh, it's really up the production quality as well. I was really impressed, mate. Seriously, I was going to drop you a message later about that. Um, very, very nice. Very, very nice. Well done, mate. Uh, Arnie says, Zyper, did you mention earlier that people who carried the TC version got no, late and went, went and worked for Gremlin? Other way around, um, they did, uh, yes, it was the Gremlin guys. Uh, if I load it up again, Arnie, I'll show you. Uh, I think then. Oh, I'll pause my music. There you go, Arnie. You can literally see, Fragrant View is Gold by Gremlin Graphics. At the time, Gremlin were making games. I don't know if they were uh, producing any and, and distribute them under the Gremlin name at the time. But um, they eventually, after, not long after Gauntlet, set up on their own anyway and started producing their own stuff. Oops, excuse me. But there we go. Um, crackdown. Hey, Henry. How you doing, matey? Good to see you again, Henry. I hope you had a lovely birthday last week. And, uh, yeah, Crackdown's not a bad idea. A lot of people rate this one. I didn't get on with it. Uh, Winter Games was pretty awesome. It was, mate. Yeah. Hey, Mr. Mark Dixon, good evening. This is, this is going to be a mixed bag. I know. We're trying to start off with some good games tonight because we've had too many crap ones, really. Uh, crap ones earlier. So we got a few votes earlier. Could be based on arcane nostalgia. Um, I, don't, I, I I remember 720. Unfortunately, I think is a bad is a specky port. So we'll save that for a bit. But I'm definitely doing 720 tonight. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, Retro Rewind Parsec. Yes, Parsec. Uh, first problem is that I need my PC updated to Windows 10. I'm still on Windows 7. And I've got so much to save and back up. And, oh, it's going to be a nightmare of me upgrading. Um, I might as well just buy a whole new bloody PC. Uh, oh, wait, if I have the money for it. Um, the other problem is I don't... I'm not comfortable with... Uh, people having access to bits of my PC while using Parsec. Especially while streaming. Um, yeah, that's what OSG is saying there. It's a problem that people have access to your own PC to play using Parsec. The other guy's doing it through WebRTC. So, sockets. Set up sockets with emulators to other people's computers. That's probably that's the best way to do it, if we can. Uh, is I've been asking because the death noise in Gauntlet is the same on Basil the Great Mouse Detective. Don't have found connection. It's, it's Dalglish. Dagley, sorry, reusing his sound effects. Mike ZT, good evening. Welcome, welcome, welcome. A couple of people want Strider and Black Tiger. I'm warning you, I think Black Tiger is a bad specy port. So we'll save that for later on. Uh, if people still want Turbo Outrun, I can do that. Strider, yeah, we're going to get some Strider on in a bit. Winter Games is really good. Winter Games was really good. It def that definitely was US Gold, wasn't it? Yeah, it's Epix, isn't it? So that's US Gold. Winter Games. Yeah. Well, bloody hell, Winter Games is awesome. Let's get that up then. Even though we're like middle of spring. <laughs> Oh, Beardo! Oh, we need to pause my music here. We have a little intro sequence. Opening ceremony. Beardo, good evening! Nice graphics there. How you doing, Beardo? And Warzord the Board Time Lord. Good evening. We will have a look at Black Tiger later on. Just remind me on that one. So, Henry, this one's for you, dude. Oh, uh, yeah, this was Henry's request, wasn't it? One second, guys. I think this just repeats over and over, so we'll we'll skip on that. Um, I think we'll just compete in all the events. Let me just check my joystick here. So it is an X. Yeah, enable joystick. Right. Okay. Uh, the, I have great memories of this. This is the first game I ever played on an Amstrad CPC 6128. And I fell in love with it because I was like, wow, I want this disc machine. And I want the 6128. Uh, I wish uh, I might need the controls at that point. Hopefully I'll remember how to play it. That intro is no Animal Olympics. That's true, Bry. That's true. Um... This was a disc exclusive section, so their opening ceremony wasn't on the tape version. Oh. Oh. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to do that there. Next event is the hot dog. Oh, let me just get the manual up here just quickly. Ah, okay, I found it. I found the manual. Cool. Hot dog. Hot dog. If I start a jump, let's joy then push the joystick in one of the six directions to get a movement. Uh, we're gonna get in the landing position. You can try and do a few moves at once. Right. Okay. 
Right, okay, let me try this then. Oh no! I've landed on my arse. <laughs> Attempt one. It's really lovely graphics on this. Let me uh we'll have a few practice goes maybe potentially i'll take some i'll take a snapshot just in case uh where's my snapshots folder right okay uh winter games hot dog i did two moves there and i go oh look at the scores coming in there and 9.6 yes that's a new world record. Well, well, well. Let's try a different move. A mule kick and that. Uh oh right, okay, only got a, I got a low score for that. Okay, fair enough. Ideally what you want to do is like two moves um in one and then land. You've got to do them very, very quickly and get the uh timing just right to biathlon. Oh, this was the big one. Right, let me take a snappy here. Uh, this is, I think, this is the only one where there's joystick waggling involved. But it's more about rhythmic movement of the joystick. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Build it up a bit, build it up, if I remember correctly. I was, gee, what was Winter Games like on the Commodore 64? Because uh, this is Epics, and Epics were predominantly a C64 company. They did good stuff on there. Oh my goodness! <laughs> hey! We have the Games Animal TV in the chat. Mr. Dave Perry! Holy crap. Dude, it's an honour and pleasure to have you here, sir, tonight. Welcome! This is nice scoring there, buddy. <laughs> Thank you, man. We were just talking about you because uh, we got Retro Rewind uh, in the chat tonight. We just did an interview with you. And uh, I'm going to be uh, interviewed in a few weeks, I think. Oh, we've got the fist there. Nice one, man. <laughs> there we go. Wow. We've got an absolute, an absolute legend. In the chat tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Right, I won't embarrass him too much, but I'm like... Freaking loved you on Games Master, man. Right, anyway. Uh, what have you got coming up on your channel, uh, dude? Uh, so it's just rhythmic left and right. And I'm not getting this at all at the moment. Okay, building up speed. Building up a little there. Oh man, I think I've I think I've screwed it up. Now it's joystick waggling time. Sorry for the dodgy faces there. Why am I not getting any speed up here? Okay, I'll start that again. I think once you get the speed going from the downhill bit, you can you can maintain it. No, I'm not getting this wrong. I'm not getting this at all at the moment. Okay, let's try it again. Okay, that's looking good. Oh, you had it then. We're getting a little bit of speed bit. Oh, oh. Waggling doesn't work. I think you have to appeal, Sean. Uh, need to pace yourself. I mean, I've lost it here again, man. Okay, we'll get. 
Oh man, we were we were getting some speed up then, and we screwed it. I'm going slower and slower. I just can't get the timing right here. This is like watching your grandparents go for a pee. <laughs> oh, this is a shooting range. You go back forward. Back forward to like cock and load the gun. And then you're going to shoot with a fire burn. Man, I haven't got this right at all. Mm. Make sure your heartbeat doesn't go too fast, bottom right. I'll, I'm going to load it up and try it again. Uh, uh, also, Gaming asks, did US Gold release this uh, on the Amstrad, Zypho? Yeah, I mean, I think it had the Epics logo on the box, but like uh, US Gold were the publisher and distributor in the UK and Europe for all the Epic stuff. Um oh that's a good that is a top tip there you have to start uh alex ogle says zypher as the real od said above try matching the waggle to the heartbeat in the bottom right corner oh I'm trying. <laughs> yeah, it's just not working. We'll load it up again. We'll give us one more try. Hmm. Damn it. So I went really quite mad with the waggling there. Yeah, I just, oh, why can't I got it? Oh man, I just can't get the hang of this. I used to be able to absolutely beast this. Hmm. Yeah. You normally fly down the hills. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm, I've done a long play video of this. I've just lost all my skills for this. And yeah, it goes absolutely flying across this map. Like literally, you'll go across this straight bit in like shoo in the seconds, but I'm not getting the timing right here. We'll try it again. I've never bothered looking at the heart there beating. I've always just looked at his skis and whether. Starting to move a bit there. Okay, a bit better. Oh, okay. Better, but not more. It's still not going super fast. Damn. Ah! Three out of five. Oh, we're losing some speed here. Ah! And we've lost it. <laughs> 
Sorry for the dodgy waggling face there. Right. Oh, I had it there, and he's gone slow again. Man. Uh, those were my instructions, Zyper, if you, if you look up. Okay, I'll read it for the second. Why are you obsessing about this? You competed against yourself. Because I used to be able to beast this. And he's gone down to like, as the skiing through treacle again. Oh, man. Look at that. It's so frustrating. Oh, I used to be able to beast this. Damn. I'm mean, going to miss my shots there as well. Can't get any speed up there. All right, we're going to move on after this one. I'm not going to reload. He's getting slower and slower again. Ah, oh, I nearly had it before, but all right, we're getting some speed up here. Come on. And we're slowing down again. God damn it. I'm going to blame my joystick. Right, let's blame the bad joystick for this. Poor performance. God damn it. Right. Uh, what joystick are you using, Zypho? Uh, it's a PXN arcade fight stick. Uh, I'll show you on uh, in a second if you want. Right, come on. Definitely got to waggle quite fast up there. And we're slowing down again. <sighs> This will be the last shooting bit. Oh, no! We only hit one there. Never mind. That doesn't work. Oh. Well, I've absolutely screwed this one up. Never mind. I used to be able to beast this as a kid. Right, this, this, this might be something I could practice on Twitch in the week or something. Okay. I think this is the end of the racetrack here. Or the biathlon. That, that's the end. So that was crap, but never mind. Uh, retro Rewind. There you go. That's the joystick I'm using at the moment. Uh, about 40, 50 quid on Amazon. Uh, side A. I think we've already got that one in. Oh. Yeah, that's right, Alex. That's what I started off. Uh, that I remember doing that. Uh, it says, uh, which went to, uh, yeah. Sci-fi, I just went to your old playthrough video. That's loud. Uh, Alex says, I went to your old playthrough video. You seem to be matching the joystick waggles to the animation on the sprite. Yes. You need to keep your heart rate low to slow the shooting crosshairs. That's right. That's all correct. Yeah. I that's what I started trying to do. Then people might like, say match it to the heartbeat and all that. And I don't remember having to do that. All right, it's just speed skating. Um... Right. Again, this is not about waggling madly. It's about matching the rhythm to the legs, and it's the animation. So it's the same thing here. Are we ready? Okay. I forget what... Uh... 
I don't know if I'm the red guy or the blue guy. I think I'm the red guy. Uh, 30 point. I was. I was the red guy, so I got that right there. Good stuff. Beat the computer there. <laughs> the graphics weren't brilliant there. Uh, oh, side B. Okay, let me just find that. Winter, winter game, side two. Boom. All right, here we go. What? Oh no, don't tell me this is a bad dump of the game. Oh, that worked. Okay. Um, figure skating, right. Right, let me just check on the... Complete a move and centre the joystick. So you pull off a move. When you pull off a move, uh, you have to centre the joystick and hit the fire button when landing, I think. Uh, okay. Okay, um, you just got to pull off as many moves as you can in the time. So let's start this off, right. Oh no! <laughs> no, 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 no. Skateboard. What, how, when did... Oh, sugar, let, let me just uh, take a snapshot here. Uh, figure skating. This is going wrong. What ha- Oh, okay. Fell on my ass at the end there. Oh, hey, Jogstrad. Good evening, Mr. Chris McGillray. How are you doing, man? Well, that was a crap score there. Camel into sit spin. I'm going to try that one more time. Hang on. Why do I keep falling on my ass? I don't get this. try and do then is do a camel spin which is what we have to be facing this way that's up left and right and then down into a sit spin oh. if you can combine the two together you get like mega mega points didn't work. Right. Oh. 
can't seem to pull off the double move there. What I'm trying to do is go into a, a spin immediately as we land. Hmm, let me read the manual again. Um, the movement, right. Uh, let's get back into the... Right, I can't see how you can do... The manual doesn't tell you how to do it. So I'm trying to do a camel spin, so we need to face him backwards. We go like that. Uh, and I'm trying to go into like a sit spin straight afterwards. How's tricks, Jockstrad, anyway? We'll move on from that. I don't want to bore everyone for ages with that one. So, what are we drinking this evening then? So, people are drinking cheap body for tall pool, retro limbs on the coffee, chiefies on the whiskey, Maud's on the red wine. Hey, Maud, how you doing, man? At Craig's bar. Good evening, Mr. Craig Harrison. How you doing, man? <laughs> What are you drinking tonight, mate? Red wine? And Brian O'Higgins on the water. I'm just on the water as well, man. Well, the bowl, Vic. Oh, yes, the ski jump. This is one of my favourites. I'm going to take a snappy here, just in case. Ski jump. Right. All right, off we go. Just got to hit fire at the right time and keep your... Oh! Remember the controls here. And you just got to keep the um, your ski uh, like in that, that position. Uh, if the skis get crossed, I think you press down to correct it. Oh, right. He wants a disc in. Holy crap. Hang on. We only have one attempt? Oh, okay. Stick man on the ski. <laughs> Push left. Uh, cross skis down. Bam. Sixty-eight point eight. FC Den hogs on a yogurt and banana. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Uh. Hey, Mr. Wayne Jordan. How you doing, man? How's Strix, dude? And how's the coding going? Any progress on that online emulator thingy? Okay. Down. Oh, right. up. Up, up, up. Not as far there. I'm not sure I've ever got past 70 meters on this one. So, uh... Eddie the Eagle there, style there. Yes, indeed, indeed. <laughs> Mr. Brian O'Higgins as well. Did I say hello to you earlier, mate? If not, I do apologise, Brian. How are you doing, matey? Good to see you back here again, and I hope your week's been all right, dude. Yeah, this is a bad crack of the game. I don't think it's saving the um, high scores and stuff very well. Oh, well, it's this again. <laughs> but the, I, I think this is called free skating. You can just do as many... I think you just got to do as many moves as you can. Oops. Oh, Hey Yuri Pavlovich, welcome to the stream my friend. Music is a tad loud. I will pop it down to the touch. Let's try that move again. So it's going to go into the sit spin. 
That's what I'm, uh, that's what I'm trying to do after the uh, camel spin. I don't know if that will count as the move we wanted to do there, but never mind. and it was in big event, yeah. <laughs> oh no! Finished on my ass. There you go. That is a very long ice rig as well. That is true, uh, Craig. <laughs> Lovely slow Olympic game. Next up is the 100 meter storm. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Wolfie. Oh, bobsleigh, though. This is quite a good fun one. Let me take a snappy here, just in case. Nice tunes here as well. Oh, Wayne says, uh, good thanks. I haven't done anything for a few weeks due to laziness. <laughs> no worries. But I think it's ready for some live testing. I can be bothered to set up an SSL. Uh, hey. Good stuff, Wayne. No worries, man. Whenever you're ready. And if you need any help, let me know. Right. I think you just got to push against... Uh, so if you're going around a bend like there, you let the bobsleigh slide up a little bit, but push to the right as you do it. This is a great event. Let's see if I can get this right. Okay, so we'll turn here. Okay. A new world record. Hey, Jerry BDN, welcome to the stream as well. Oh, I love this game. Yeah. Uh, oh, I've already got side A in. This is a really bad crack of. Oh, no. Have I? Oh, no, I haven't actually. Oops. Okay. That should, this, should, this should work now. This should work. Okay. Yeah, this is a classic. Winter Games is probably the best multi-sport game uh, I've played. And now it's you. How does this compare to the Commodore 64 version? Let me know. I never know. I, I never know on this though the bobsleigh. If if, if I can keep keep the, is it faster to keep the bobsleigh at rooted at the bottom of the track, or do you let it go right on the uh, the outer edges, high up? So on this run, I'm going to let it go like to almost 90 degrees of the floor, and we'll see if that goes any faster. I'm letting it go right up on the edge there. Any faster. Twenty six bot three four. Isn't that what I got last time? No, that was faster. The C sixty four version is brown. <laughs> oh god. 
C64 version is better, and that's not because I'm biased, it's just it. the best sports game. Is Why is it better? Uh, uh, no, uh, ge gen genuine, honest question, and it's not a loaded question. Uh, what does the C64 version do better? This time I'm going to hold it really tight to the bottom of the track if I can, rather than let it go up the sides, and see if that's any faster. Oh, 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 oh. I screwed it up though. I can hear one of my cats crying in the kitchen. I might have to go and investigate in a minute. That was slower. So I let the bobsleigh go right up on the side of the track, I reckon. Mmm. And that I think I think that is all winter winter sports. Winter games, sorry. All the events. There we go. There you go. Winter games. Great game. The only thing is. Like all the epics games, unless you've got someone to play against, it's like you've got nothing to. You've got no computer opponents fighting against you. It's just you on your own trying to get better scores each time. Um, so I found that it never drew me back to playing it over and over because you weren't feeling a sense of accomplishment because you could do really crappily and just move on and so forth. Unless you had the disc version, which I later did, and you could try and beat your world records. Because it would save your world records uh, to disc. Let's have a look. There you go. <laughs> so we got some world records saved there. But there you go. Not bad at all. If I'm on stream, then I'm usually working on in the background, says Wayne. Oh, you doing some work now? Or are you uh, having a few bevies and just chilling out? If you want, we can do uh, both do the live test and try and play the game. Hey, man. Yeah, totally up for that. What's the best way to chat to you offline, Wayne? I did try and ask you that a few weeks back. Um, Facebook Messenger? Uh, or do you, is there something else you check more often? Like, are you on Twitter, Discord, or anything like that, Wayne? It looks better, plays better, and definitely sounds better. Play it and you'll see. I don't know if about looks better. The Sid chip might win, OSG. Uh, and playability. Yeah, I'll have to give... Oh, we'll do a Commodore 64 stream again soon on Twitch, dude. And uh, remind me, we'll fire up Winter Sports. I'll be honest, it's definitely not my type of game. Says Wolfie, I'm going to take your word for it. Okay, no worries. It's not for everyone, that, of course. Um... And Tarhan, good evening, Tarhan. How you doing, man? Good to see you here again, mate. And Don Fakakero as well. Good evening, my friend, as well. And Neil, welcome back. Welcome back to the stream, matey. I saw your message there earlier in the chat as well. Um, okay, guys, suggestions for the next game then. What should be? What should the next game be? I feel like I'll do 7:20 later because that's like a multi event type game anyway. So we want something a little bit different after that. Um, request then in the chat, what would you like to see next as I have a little drinky poo? Hey, don't start falling out there. <laughs> All right. Uh, Bionic, oh God, uh, we want good games. <laughs> Oh man. Uh crackdown. Rygar. Is R oh Rygar. Uh, that is US gold, isn't it? I'm pretty sure it is. It might be on the go label. Rygar, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good that's a good suggestion, Brian. Two people for crackdown. All right then, we'll get cracked down up. Oh, uh, let me automatically run this, and we'll get some. I tell you what, we might do Rygar next. Then I'll try and highlight that in my thing here. <laughs> it's a cracked version of Crackdown. Nice. Yeah. And it may not be... Oh, fire button. Okay. Yeah, just a bit of banter. Uh, yeah. 
Uh, Sean, you're probably not aware, like, on other streams, he's been getting a lot of abuse about the same thing, about the Commodore 64 graphics. I suppose it gets to him sometimes, and I, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll leave it there. <laughs> Oh, um, Wayne, you've got an email address. Maybe that might be better then. But I, I prefer some kind of instant chat like thing. But, um, oh, music here. Only 16 levels by the looks of it, Henry. Yeah. <sighs> Text and WhatsApp. I'm more sat on my computer than my phone, Wayne. That's my problem. You'll have to like DM me your um, email address in like a on a Facebook message. Give me send me your email, and we'll we'll do our email. <laughs> right. Let's have a listen to the music quickly whilst I just go and investigate what my cats were up to in the kitchen. There was a lot of noise and uh, screeching, so let me, um, I'll be right back in 30 seconds and just checking out what the cats have been doing. Both cats are asleep in their favourite sleeping places, so uh, there we go. Never mind. Right, have we had enough of that music yet? Is it any good? It's all right. Oh, nice jingle there when I hit the fire button. Sweet. So I believe this is a um, arcade conversion. It's an arcade game I don't remember ever seeing. Um, yeah, uh, they, uh, the music is eight minutes long, by the way. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> oh, hey, German. No worries, good buddy. Uh, see you all later. Are you popping back or are you off, uh, off the night? Um, uh, oh, Neil... Yeah, Neil. Uh, oh, yeah, Neil's stuck of trying to get his joystick working in Win 8. But anyway, gonna... Neil, if you post in the tech help, tech underscore help channel in the Discord, uh, ask a question there, and hopefully someone might jump in and help you out there. And Keith, thank you for joining Discord as well. Welcome to the Discord there. Uh, anyone else wants to join in the Discord? There you go, exclamation Discord. That'll give you the uh, link there. It's such a titchy plain area. Yes. Oh. Let me let me just put my music down a touch more. Right there. There we go. Why is he throwing biscuits at giant biscuits at them? Remember. Right. Uh, we're collect. Oh. I think we've got to set bombs, haven't we? Oh, God. So it's cut. It's, it's a bit like Gauntlet in a way, this one. Oh, man, we got killed setting the bomb. Okay. Mm. Went through him there, but he hit me. 
Why is this bull crap? Yeah. I remember now, I wasn't a fan of this game. Why are my bullets... Why is my bullet going through him? It's the size of a bloody moon and it's going through him. And whatever you do, do not set the bomb, or whatever it is, or defuse the bomb, while someone is nearby. Oh, there's a timer. Oh, and I, oh, I think I've got no bullets left. Oh, God. Oh, there's a limited amount of ammunition. Right, okay. And I've, all bombs set. And you'll escape. Right. Oh, it's horrible sound effects. Yeah. Yeah, take advantage of the diagonal fire in there. Hey, Retro Rewind, no worries, man. Take care, dude. Enjoy your food. And, yeah, you're more than, more than welcome back. Um, Henry, did you have this on the Amstrad? Sounds like you're a fan of the arcade version. Uh, but what do you think to the Amstrad one? Oh, they, oh, the enemies respawn. Oh, God, that's a thing. I don't like I don't like this. Like his bullets hit me in the same vert we're on the same vertical plane as each other. His hit me, mine Look at that crap. That this oh god. Yeah, this game annoyed me too much. Sorry if anyone's a fan of this one, but I'm not liking it. I'm trying to get him facing diagonally. Oh, God. And the tiny plane area is titchy. Ah! I got killed by a guy spawning there. No, it's game over. Sorry, guys. I... I it, Oh, what's that? Oh, and, and it's got problems with the sound effects still playing as well. It says it looks faithful to the arcade visually, but like, oh man. Hey, Scar, good evening, Mr. Scott Rosen. How you doing, mate? Welcome, dude. And it's glitched. The sound, oh... This might be a bad crack of the game. Oh, finally. Another sound effect played that's similar. And it's not that broken sound effect off. Okay, cool. Right. Diagonal shot work there. Novabug kind of liked it. Okay. I think the collision detection on the bullets is awful at times. Oh no! I'm gonna get killed. Look, I got killed there. Don't. You're not. You're not protected whilst. De you're telling me that doesn't hit him. Okay. Right. getting swarmed. And I think I died. Oh, man. Several times on this level. 
Yeah. Yeah, moving on from that one. I'm really sorry. If anyone's a fan of that one on the Amstrad, I, I apologise, but I really hate that. That's just awful. It's a shame because there's there's bits of it that like have got potential, but like I think the graphics are pretty terrible. Uh, the sound effects are bloody horrible, and they glitch. That may be a bad crack of the game, though, causing that. I'm not sure. So on that one. I perhaps needed to uh, download the original one, but I don't think I want, I want to waste any more time on that. The gameplay's just... The, the, the playing window is too small. Um, the, the hit detection on certain areas of the bullets is awful. Um, yeah, I'm not a fan of that one. Sorry if anyone really likes that, but... Um... Hey, Brian, living the Outrun t-shirt. Cheers, man. Thank you, dude. Thank you. Right, okay, what's the next game then, guys? What do we want to have a look at? Oh, Rygar. I said I'd look at Rygar next. This is a good one. This is a good one. Not the best one in the world, but uh, it's pretty decent. Oh, right. Zypho, nope. The tape version from the Sega Master Mix was bugged as well. Oh, did I skip the music there? Hang on. I might have... Uh, I'm sure there's rock music in Rygar. Uh, Batman says, I quite liked it back in the day. You have to be really conservative in your approach. Oops, excuse me. To avoid deaths. Oh, no, there wasn't music there. Uh, which is hard when you get into the timer. And also, you got those respawn points, so they're just coming out constantly at you. OJBs, good evening to you. Oh, I owe you an email back. Sorry, OJ. Crackdown is not all it's cracked up to be. Ha ha ha. <laughs> yes, indeed. Please try the arcade if you have some time. I, I I will do off stream, Henry. I'm sure the arcade version is really, really good. But um, the um, conversion there, not so much. <laughs> um, hey, Matt Myers. Good evening, Matt, as well. Sorry if I missed you earlier in the chat there. House tricks, man. No music on the title screen. It's in game. Right, yeah, cool. That did sound a bit like the Adams Family there. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> but it loaded up. Right, okay. I'm going to pause my music then. One player, two player with joystick. Right. Oh, this music used on the hundreds of cracked games. Oh, that went past really quickly there. We can jump. Ah, oh, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. No, I didn't think he was going to spawn me right on the bloody edge there. Really bad start to this one. That's interesting that enemies disappear if you scroll off the screen. Bloody hell. Right, okay. That was a quick game over. Uh... I'm, I'm doing okay, yeah, Matt. <laughs> uh, oh, is Incracter here? Did I miss him in the chat? Oh, sorry, I can't swear. Where are I? Oh, there you are. Sorry. Hey, we just played the night, but message. Incracter, how you doing, boat matey? And happy Friday to you too, dude. Right, let's fight. Is he doing Hardukins? Right, it's supposed to be a big spiky ball on a chain. Uh, but they've not done the like the chain uh, sprite or anything like that. So I guess you'd have to use your imagination here. I mean, the graphics are very basic and simple. Ooh, what does the star do? 
I think the star cleared all enemies off the screen. I have no idea what that thing does. End of the level, right? Repulse bonus, okay. Hey, yeah, man, sure. Welcome back. Why not go for Club of Six to be enough? 11 hours and a field cold, rainy Friday. Uh, oh, hang on. Oh, it's getting a bit more intense now. Oh, you can jump off their heads, right? Okay. Welcome back, Man Shovel, and yes, this is Rykar. Oh, man. <laughs> good to hear uh, in, in Cracked Air. Sounds, sounds like a good Friday to me. Knows what that was? No idea. I've just realised Vixen was a rip-off of this game. Vixen from Martech. If anyone knows the one, the one with uh, Corinne Russell on the uh, the cover, the page three model. Oh, extra life. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So far, pretty samey in the first two levels. Oh, what's this thing? A tiger face. Are those uh, special power-ups I can use or something? Hey, Aqua Z, welcome to the stream as well. And Mr. Mikey Smith as well. Uh, hello, Janie, if she's there with you as well. How you doing, man? And Janie. Oh. I thought you could jump off their heads. I just did that about twice, twice in a row. there they're quite nice Thousand points bonus, nice. Okay. Hey, Funk Bob, good to see you on the stream again, man. How you doing? Oh, 
Fix a barbarian game over posters on the wall. The triumphs of 90s gamer kid. Yes. I've got a, the very same Vixen poster right on this wall, right up there in front of me. <laughs> Bit of Maria Whitaker, the Barbarian, but uh, Corinne Russell for me and Vixen. <laughs> it's a score multiplier. So, all oh, right, okay, cool, cool, cool. Thanks, man. Let me just pause it there a second, because oh my goodness gracious me, we've got GP in the chat. It says evening Zypho Simps. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing, naughty, naughty GP? How's tricks, man? Um, Sean says, four of the five slots to buy increase your firepower. The fifth one is a shield that you get by hitting the question mark several times. So, right, thank you, Sean. So if I see the question mark block, just keep hitting it again and again, right? Uh, Brian says, hold fire and push up. Right. Hmm. And Brian reckons Vixen was arguably better as well. Uh, right, okay, okay. Any other comments there I should pick up on there? OJB says, Maria Maritka, my mum did not like the Barbarian poster much. <laughs> I bet. Hey, Avacet, welcome back, Avacet. How's tricks, dude, again? Right. Oh, I see. Look at that. You get a circular thingy, which doesn't work that well no game over <gasps> you don't get any continues crap oh yeah I forgot about that oh nice music here Ugh. I quite like my god this I don't know if it's maybe a little bit too weak. Uh, does it get a lot harder later on? Yeah, I died quite a few times there, but I feel like you can almost just jump through the entire level quite quickly. I don't know. Kev Howell, good evening, Kev Howell. How you doing, matey? And Retro Game Bloke as well. Welcome to the stream, my friends. Welcome. All right, let's take requests for the next game then. Um... I have a feeling that if I keep playing, if I play this again, we're going to be playing it a long time. So uh, it's a it's a very samey game. Looks like it, OJBs. It looks like it. I think that what that might be my problem with it. Other than that, it's a fair, it's a very competent and decently done arcade conversion. I'll give it that. Uh, Forgotten Worlds, D new. Hey Simon, how you doing again? Um, Ooh, uh, Desolator, Halls of Kairos, Ky Sidearms, Road Blasters. Although Road Blasters don't off go on a long time, actually. That did sound like Adam's Family, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, mm. Ooh. Simon, what have you missed so far? We started off with some Gauntlet. We did some Winter Games. Uh, what was the other one we did? Is, there a, is, that, all, is that all we've played this evening? And Rygar. <laughs> oh, Crackdown as well. I'll tell you what, we can have a quick look at Road Blasters. We'll have a quick look at Road Blasters. Can even get the AMS car out of the garage for that one if you if you guys want to see that. We'll have a quick uh, we'll have a quick look at road blasters. My problem with road blasters is it says in the manual that you should be able to um, select the uh, oh man shovel with the five dollars through the super chat, dude. Oh, bless you, man. You've been way generous. He says, I heard earlier that you played UN Squadron uh, last US Gold stream. Uh, I think I might have butchered the loading in this, actually. Hang on, let me try that again. Um, played UN Squadron uh, on the last US Gold stream. I know clearly that was spoiled to the Amsterdam huge trend of the snares, Paul. I think that's a hint for me to have a look at it. 
We can have a quick look at it for you, man. We can do. Bananas in the chat for the man shovel. There we go. Let the bananas rain down. <laughs> Thank you, matey. Thank you. Um. Right, I'm gonna. All right, we can have a quick look at you and Squadron in a bit, yeah, or maybe after this one. I don't know. We did look at it last time, but we can have a quick look again tonight. Um. Yeah, so, okay, the loading on Road Blasters here is, um, well, according to the manual, you're supposed to be able to select um, either easy, medium, or hard. And hard will put you forward to, like, level 25 or something like that. So then you've only got 25 levels levels to play through. Uh, but that option seems to be missing on the Amstrad version, which means you've got to play through all the levels right from the start. Oops, excuse me. Uh, oh, thank you for helping out uh, Neil Love uh, in the Discord there, Novabug. That's very, very helpful. If anyone could help out, help, help, uh, join in and help out. Neil's trying to get his joystick working in uh, Win8. Uh, in the, that's in my Discord in the Tech Help channel. Thank you, Novabug. Um, hey, sir, Nick of Tech. Tech Nick, how you doing, mate? Hard is level 11. Uh, oh, okay. But it's missing on the Amstrad version, isn't it, Sean? I've, I've tried several different uh, discs and all just start on level one, which is annoying. Which is why I probably won't ever do a long play of this one because it just takes too long to do. It'll bore everyone to tears. Hang on. That screen screwed up. Uh, what's happened to the skyline? Uh... What the hell's happened here? This is proper glitched. This isn't right. This must be like a blue sky. Why have we got a red bar at the top? We've gone full speed and nothing's happened in the game. The game has downloaded a Night Rider DLC. Uh, yeah, I think that's screwed up. Right, we will uh, we will get the proper disc. Good lord! So who makes these crack to get uh, do, do these dumps and uh, not not test it? Good lord! Right, okay. Uh, one second, guys. Right, let's just download this quickly from the CPC Power website. UK retail version, that'll do for me. YQ out. So yeah, just downloading it now from the CPC Power website. Uh, right, that's downloaded, cool. Boop. Right. Road. Hang on, is there two discs? What? Right, okay. Here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, music! I thought there was music on this. Uh when loading up. That's what... But we've got a blank picture. <laughs> it's a bit odd. Alright, we'll let the music play just a second. Have a listen to this.
pop at you in there. Dilly -lee. And off we go. There you go. That looks like road blasters to me. You got a gun that shoots. Oh, I know what we can do as well. I know what we can do. We can get the uh, AMS car out the garage for this one. Shall we get the AMS car out, ladies and gentlemen? Where is it? Where is it? Hang on. There we go. Let's get the AMS car out the garage. Zypho's fart car. How dare you, sir? How dare you? Right, off we go. I've got a Lord Sugar in the passenger seat as always. The blue cars you can't shoot and destroy. Not unless you have a special weapon. Green fuel award. There we go. And your multiplier goes up every car you shoot and destroy, but goes down for every shot you miss. That's why I'm not blasting away on my guns. I'm trying to be as accurate as I can. It's a shot there. The multiplier went down. Oh. Well, I need to sit up my... You can't see my head very well. Right, I'll, I'll, I'll sit up straight. And you can see me in the car then. Keep collecting those green globes of fuel. Fuel running out is your biggest enemy. Also, my multiplayer is on times 10, I think, is the maximum. And here we are, the end of the race. Funky music there. Engine noise is terrible. Oh, no, no, no. Why? Oh, gosh. It's not the worst car engine noise I've ever heard. I have heard worse in Amstrad games. Oh, you've got a boat, you've got a reserve fuel tank as well, which I think fills up if you click the red globes. I might be wrong on that. Oh, catch the U Uzi cannon. Nice. And you pull back on the joystick to use the uh, special weapon. Oh, and I just got wrecked. That's the mine alarm. <laughs> it's worth shooting the cars there, because some of them do drop fuel pods. It's a really well programmed arcade conversion. Uh, it's got a good sense of speed to it. It's got all the features of the arcade game. Uh, maybe not quite as fast as the arcade. I can't remember how fast the arcade version ran. Yeah, it's down triggers the special weapon shield. Yeah, yeah. Or pull back on the joystick. Avoid the mines. Then he went off the road there. Right, and I'll put... Ah! Oh. 
No, Defo, uh, not as fast. Right, okay. I think that's the only problem... The only problem I have is... That it, <laughs> to brake, you just release the accelerator and you don't really brake that hard. physics are weird in this. They are a little, yeah. But it's very, I have to say, like Funk Bob says, it's very close to the uh, RK version. Uh, Retro Limb says, no ending in this game. I was going to pause there and catch up with the chat, sorry. No ending in this game, 99 levels, then back to level 1. Holy crap! I thought, I thought it was 50 levels in this. But 99 levels, I think I... Oh, God, that, that would explain why I haven't bothered to do a long play of this at all. Uh, Retro Maniac long played it. Oh, did he? Right, okay. <laughs> Cyber says, if the crazy frog got stuck in a vibrating plate, to our engine noise. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, the steering's a little bit weird. You push it and the car sort of just goes... Chung, chung, like that in chunks. It's it's weird, yeah. Uh, Sean says no. Stevie got confused. I oh, was at fifty levels. I still a lot of levels to go through, and they take a long time. That took how many minutes did that take to get through that level there? Who's Stevie? It's Retro on Limb. That's his new name, GP. Chiefy gives it a score of four out of ten. This one, right. Uh, May May says, yeah, this looks like a good port. Not a huge fan of the original, but looks solid. I'd say it's a very, very solid port. Controls are a tad sensitive as well. And it's a shame there isn't like uh, a brake button and a brake that really slows your car down really quickly. Yeah, that car can't be destroyed, not unless you got a special weapon. Okay, we're looking good there. Looking good. Oh, wow! Just got over 100 concurrent viewers. Fantastic. Welcome, everybody, joining the Amstream. Come and say hello in the chat, and we'll give you a nice welcome and greeting here. Don't, don't be shy. Don't be shy. <laughs> Oh no! I hit a tiny little rock at the side of the road and my armor plated death machine exploded in a ball of fire. Ooh, ooh. Where are the mines? It's gonna be in the middle there! Oh! Good lord. Oh yeah, uh, this conversion was done by uh, DJL Software for US Gold. DJL are a company I really liked. They did the first uh, Nigel Mansell game. Their first game was 3D Stunt Rider for Amsoft, which I have a really fond liking of. Um, I think they also did Super... Oh, damn it. I think they also did Super Cycle for US Gold. I'm here. You can shoot the turrets there. There you go. Uh, DJL did lots of really good uh, driving games. Electro Glide, even though that game was bugged and you can't, it's impossible to complete. 
But yeah, I really like DJ L Soft, and, and I think they've done a very, very good job here. It's not without its um, issues. Uh, it's perhaps a little bit overly long. But uh, DJ L Soft had a very, very good racing car, uh, racing driving game uh, code engine, which they use a lot repeatedly. Uh, for like this, this, this feels very similar to Nigel Mansell and how it moves and stuff like that. But yeah, it's good. Anyway, let's just catch up on the chat there. Um, oh, Jace, has Jace arrived? Good evening, Jace. How you doing, matey? He says I'm a bit late. Somehow I forgot about the am stream tonight. Don't. Oh! Never mind, Jace. How you doing, man? Looks like the am's car is overheating. Says Matt Myers. I might be able to turn the smoke. Um from green uh, to a different colour. Let me see if I can do this. It appears again. Uh, maybe the gamma. Let me see if I can sort that. Oh, no, that's even worse. Uh, oh! Oh, we've got proper smoke now. Check this. There you go. There you go. We've got proper smoke. <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, that background in the game looks super futuristic. Yeah. To be fair to it, it does load in new backgrounds all the time. So that's cool. We like that. We like that. Um... Uh, yeah. Hey, Lewis Waddo! Lewis, um, I just saw that this morning that you'd rejoin the AMS club. Uh, sorry, the AMS squad. Thank you, man. Says, uh, even though walking about the pub boss watching the awesome AMS stream, super chat isn't working for me, so I'll just send some good AMS vibes. Hey, no worries, no worries, Lewis. Mate, thank you for rejoining the AM squad, mate. I very, very, very much appreciate that. I was going to give you some love tonight. Let me know when you're properly in the chat. I guess when you get back home, and we'll, um, um, we'll give you some love and we'll catch up with you properly. Um, Brian Hooper's giving it a score. I'll get this game already of 7.5 out of 10. Um, Mark whatever hated this day. He thought it was junk. I think this is really competently programmed, but I can understand why this game might not be enjoyable to a lot of people. Um, lots of love there for Lewis in the chat there. <laughs> you want the fart car back? Yeah, he took like 200 streams to work that out. To be fair, the smoke only got added uh, a few months ago, I think. <laughs> You like the green smoke better? Oh no. You got to level 47. Oh, he died right at the end of the game then, Sean. Unlucky, dude. Unlucky. Um, I'm in the chat whilst avoiding dog poop whilst walking home drunk. Blimey. So, Lewis, how. We'll do one more level here. How's the house um, uh, move gone, mate? Did, did it all complete? Oh, our speed's been increased. Look at that. We're going even faster than before. We've got a random speeding upgrade. Nice. Nitro injector. Oh, we've got to use the nitro. Are you ready, chat, for some nitro? Woo! <laughs> Wasn't quite as impressive as I hoped there. Three hundred miles per hour, baby. That's all the nitro used. Might as well use it up. I don't think the nitro carries over to the next level, so. God damn it! Those bloody uh, turrets there. 
The green smoke looked like alien farts. Right. Well, guys, do you want the do you want the green smoke back? I mean, this does look better, more. <laughs> Oh, damn it. I hate those turrets. Hey, Dreamy, no worries if you're not chatty tonight. Feel free to just lurk and chill out and stuff like that. Oh, no. Okay. Okay, the collision detection's good. I was able to sort of squeeze between those cars. I mean, technically, from a coding point of view, they've got a lot, a lot of things very, very right and done very, very well in this conversion, DJL. But I can understand road blasters might not be to everyone's uh, cup of tea. Damn it! Mines are coming up. suggestions and requests for the next game tonight because um road blasters as good as it is it don't off go on a lot a long time let's pause out there so what was, what should the next game be guys <laughs> let me have a quick chat from the chat there I know, I, I, Smoothie's actually mentioned it there. I perhaps play for too long. Um, it's on the game, so I'm, I, I'm conscious. I'm actually quite conscious of that tonight, Smoothie. So we've done quite a few so far, I think. For, for me. For me. Um, oh, you got the. Is the house move sorted, Lewis? Just had to pass the affordability check. Nice! So it's all, it's all the paperwork gone through and sorted. <laughs> Oops, excuse me. Welcome back from Lurk Mode, Tall Paul. <laughs> You've never got over it. So this uh, Road Blasters brings back bad memories for you, Sean. Unlucky, dude. Unlucky. Also, if you want to give... Um, if you feel like giving Road Blasters a score out of 10, please feel free to. Uh, Brave Star. Yeah, we can have a look at that. Uh, Tiger Road. Ooh, that could, get, that could get me quite salty tonight. Um... Oh, having some crappy weather where you are, Dreamy. Oh, unlucky. In the UK, we've actually started to have a bit of sunshine recently, which is a bit unusual. UN Squadron. Strider, Strider. That's two people for Strider. Uh, P47. That wasn't from US Gold, uh, GP, unfortunately. Uh, I know, I know, Smoothie. I know it's tr it, it's 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 tinged in truth as well, though, Smoothie. <laughs> Do you guys want to see Strider? It's not great, and I'll pop out the Ams car now. <laughs> oh, we saw the smoke appear with nothing there. There, giving away, uh, giving away secrets. Never mind. View for Strider. Okay, all right. The chat asked for it. We will get it all. I, I'm your servant, so. Uh, that reminds me, we must buy aircon soon before it gets too hot. Yeah, Johnny boy. Oh, oh, cracked version. Hopefully, it's all right. Um. You reckon Strider Two is better? Yeah, I don't know that one. Don't know, don't know. Roadblasters gets a six out of ten from Nish. Um, ooh, uh, Man Shovel gives it six out of ten as well. I'm gonna give Roadblasters. I it would be either a seven and a half or an eight out of ten. If it played a bit faster and the levels went by a bit quicker, uh, definitely an eight out of ten. Um, right. 
Uh, just give me a second, guys. I'm just gonna get. Uh, I'm just gonna step away just for a second. Give my eyes a rest. I will be right back in about thirty seconds. Right back okay um yeah wolfie brave star that's that sounds about uh, that description sounds about right although i never saw the uh cartoon myself um sean gives uh road blasters an 8 out of 10 uh strider 2 is like osg wearing a wig it just doesn't work <laughs> uh or we, we won't play with cheats Uh, I mean, when this... Oh, there's music. Hang on, let's pause mine. Uh, but this is a tear text conversion, isn't it? This one, I think. That's always a bad sign. Tear text. Retro game, but I can't remember any computer version being any good, though. Is there a good conversion of Strider anywhere? What's the Mega Drive one like? Name Zypho name dropping page three girls feel like I missed a lot. It was, we're just, we were just talking about Vixen. Hang on. Uh. That one, Vixen. You got a free poster inside this, and it is currently on my. It is on my office wall. This Vixen poster. We were talking about Vixen because um, this was this was basically a ripoff of Rygar that we were playing earlier. Oh yeah, there's no Lucas so far tonight. I'm sure he'll pop it in a bit. Mega Drive versus Strider was good though. Top class, right? And the Atari SD version was alright. Okay. Ooh la la, Tarzan girl. FC Denhog's getting excited. <laughs> right, let's go with joystick then. Uh... Nice jingles of music here, actually. Music is not too bad. No music in game, though. I mean, this. <sighs> I mean, the sprite looks does look like the Strider sprite. The animation is all right. The trouble is, the plane area is really small. Oh, it's it's really easy to, to get killed by enemies just coming straight on the screen. At least it scrolls. It's not the best scrolling in the world. God damn it. And he's got the moves there. But you need a bigger screen to see it. Okay, we've got that thing. It works quite well. That's the annoying thing. They, they, nearly, they nearly cracked it. Oh. Oh, and I lost me power up as well. And that killed me. God damn it. Oh. Ah! He 
shot my foot. God damn it. Okay, that's better. Right, let me just get the hang of this. Okay, cool. Oh, hang on. You've got to, you've got to smash this open. Right, okay. The problem with Strider on the Amstrad then is that you have to take it quite cautiously. Like, I'm preparing for an enemy coming on. Oh, okay, okay. You need your buzzy round thingy there to... Cool. Damn it. Oh, no. Oh, wait, you lose it. Oh, man. oh, I lost a bit of energy there again. Please don't kill me here. Get immediately killed by the boss and game over. Ah, what's the chat saying there? Let's have a look. She was also in Alf Garnet back in the day. Corinne Russell, really? I had no idea about that. Uh, Zypho says GP is so honky, he makes the hardest fe feminist iron his trousers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm skipping over that one, GP. <laughs> uh, so, but the biggest problem in the game is a shot isn't necessarily the colours scrolling or animation. The blando background. I know it's just a plain black background, nothing else. I guess if they put a background in, it would move like an absolute dog. Yeah. Magic Knight, good evening, my friends. How you doing, dude? How's tricks, man? Nice to see you again, dude. Always love the Zub, Zub Avatar. And exactly, man, I don't get why uh, Strider Hi, uh, Hi, Hiru, Hiryu, sorry if I pronounced that right, is so close to right of the screen, they could have moved him back a couple of inches. I know, that winds me up so much in uh, games where we've got, we have scrolling, the scrolling works, but it only seems to move when the character from the centre of the screen moves across the right, and then it goes, oh yeah, we'll start scrolling with him right close to the edge of the screen drives me mad on um, like games like Turrican and Turrican 2 especially. That, that Turrican 2 is really bad for that. It just ruins what is otherwise an awesome game. Yeah, anyway. A nice leap of faith there. Thank you, Henry. <laughs> uh, shows a lot of love for this. I finished this and started to back to back at Craig Harrison's place a couple of years ago. <laughs> Oh, well, there's one to put on the CD there, sure. Good Lord. Yes, we had a whole discussion tool, Paul, on Maria Whittaker and Sam Fox and <laughs> Corinne Russell earlier. Yeah. Hey, Mr. Aaron Phillips. How you doing, mate? He says, bloody cold out, sitting with a pint, shivering me loins off. <laughs> Are you in a you in a pub uh, beer garden at the moment, Aaron? Or is this outside in your garden with a beer? How you doing, Aaron? Welcome, matey. Um, is Strider 2 any better? I, I, I didn't like it either. Uh, I think technically, graphically as well, it looks better, but it's still a really boring game to play, I find, anyway. Um, not too bad on the Amstrad, just frustrated, says Magic Knight. We'll give it one more go, and then we'll move on to the next game. Hey, Sebastian Racido, how you doing, man? <laughs> Hello, matey, how are you? That may be true, FC Den Hog, but hey, we're, this is tear text we're talking about. We, <laughs> we had a brief discussion on them tall, Paul. Never mind, my friend. 
Okay, yeah, guys, actually, yeah, start putting your requests in the chat for more US Gold games. God damn it, I've got hit twice there. And I don't know actually why I didn't get uh, hit there a third time. That bullet from the gun looked like uh, it was destined to hit me there. Ooh, excuse me. Right. Thanks, we got that swirly roundy thing. Oh no, it starts you all the way from here. It just really doesn't have any of the really good things. Oh my god. That made it special in the arcade. Um, such a shame. Right. Got a boss fight here and I forget how you beat him. Damn it. Uh, that's not the way. I think we... Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh! Just made it. I think he's like a mid-level boss. Like, oh god, how do you just, how do you time getting in and out of there if you don't have the special weapon? <gasps> that, I walked, apparently I walked into that turret there and it killed me, but it was way into the wall. What? Just stay crouched and hold down fire. Was it that easy? Bloody hell. Probably just should have stayed in that corner. Well, I think I've had enough of Strider there. I think you get I get the idea and just on Strider. It's not a brilliant game. Scores out of 10 for that one. And I think I'm going to, because Man Shovel has arrived and he did the dono earlier. I think we're going to get UN Squadron up next. And let me see if I've got the original disc. Uh... No. Right, I'm going to go and download it from the CPC Power website. Whilst you put some scores in the chat there out of 10 for um, Strider. So I'm going to go and download the disc here. Right. Hang on, why not? Uh, UN Squadron. No, I haven't got it. Right, let me just download these guys. Bear with. Uh, caps. Got some capture codes to enter on the website. So we're getting some scores coming in there. 8 out of 10. I see a 1 out of 10 from GP. 8 out of 10 from Sean. I'm surprised you like this as much uh, as that, Sean. There's usually no messing about with you and your scores. You'd pre be pretty harsh sometimes, but you like Strider. That surprised me. But hey, each their own. Each their own. It's all subjective. I of the beholder and all that. Uh, Manchester was 7 out of 10. That's quite generous. Retro number 2. Jace a 2. Robin a 5. Yeah, I'm not going to play Strider 2. I'm all Strided out. Aaron says, the only news of Vespertino, all I know is it is definitely still being worked on. And we just have to be patient. When it's ready, it's ready. But hopefully, fingers crossed, maybe this year. Maybe this year. Who knows? Uh, I mean, uh, the Batman group announced Pinball Dreams. And it was about three, it took about two to three years. And now it's coming up to the second or third year for Vespertino after it was announced. So, uh, yeah. They, uh, there you go. Yeah, retro live. Shut up. <laughs> Jimmy gives it a five. Mike's ET a six. 
Or the disc is downloaded there. Morder 7. As I get this loaded up. Uh, Tall Paul a 6.5. Henry a 4. Arnie a 4. Barry a 6.5. Uh, oh, hey, Barry. How you doing, man? I remember having fun with it back in the day. Oh, there's music here. Put the music up slightly. Warzord gives it oof out of 10. Retro Game Blake a 4. No 8-bit version was any good for me. Fair enough. Sebastian a 3. Brian a 7. Yeah, I always thought you were fairly harsh on it. Well, look at the scores in the chat, Sean. That's all I'll say. That's all I'll say. <laughs> and Vapor T, you know. It's coming. Be patient. Be patient. Uh, Batman Group took a long time on Pimple Dreams, and it was worth it. I might contact them again, uh, uh, again Retro, and see what they say, yeah. Yeah, you and Squadron's on the Amstrad FC Den Hog, and uh, the yeah, it surprised Man Shovel as well. Bit of an intro here. I'll let you guys have a little watch of this and listen to the music. So I'm just taking like little small opportunities just to give my eyes a rest. Fearing another Ocular Mind grade tonight. Give us a like and a thumbs up on the stream. It all helps get the stream noticed to more more people, more new people as well. Uh, Batman group are all in prison for robbing. Oh dear. Oh dear. Bad joke for GP there. Hey Nish, no worries mate. So I'm going to call it an iron head to bed now. Enjoy the rest of the stream everyone. Hey, take care uh, Nish. Have a good night dude. And uh, thank you for all you do on the Amstrad scene as well. Taking on this mission is like shaking hands with the devil. Oh, 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 oh. Whoa, Sean! Dan my Poons. Mr. Sean M. Neary. Let's just join the Am Squad again. Oh my goodness, dude. Wow, you can have all the dancing sugars for the handsome bananas. Sean, thank you very, very, very much, mate. And Sean, we've got to give you the uh, Spanner of Doom back. Oh, good lord. There we go. <laughs> if you refresh, uh, if you refresh, mate, you're going to have the Spanner. Oh yeah, I think I've seen that I've been back a while, I ain't going no anywhere. Hey, good to hear dude. Thank you, Mike. We have some bananas in the chat for Sean there. Sean, thank you dude, thank you. And uh, don't forget to link your Discord to Patreon. I can say, if you're not sure how to, I'll send you a link to the me in the message. And you get all your Discord roles and private channels get unlocked for you and all that kind of stuff. I know you don't use Discord that much. But uh, it's, it's a nice thing. Also, if you ever pop on me Twitch streams as well, you get the VIP badge next to your name and some extra perks there. Thank you, Sean. Whoa. And uh, loads of love there for Sean in the chat there. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Sean with a spanner. There goes the neighbourhood. <laughs> ah, Mabs. Mabs. How you doing, Mabs? KMK. Awesome stuff, man. How you doing? Good to see you again, dude. Thank you for there for the rustless for Sean. And Jester! Mr. Jez Jukes. How you doing, man, as well? Right, um, let's change controls. Uh, oh, right. Uh, joystick. GIOP space. Oh, we might have to redefine keys, actually. Let's try that. Right, fire. 
Don't you have a special weapon in the game? I don't know that. I don't know. Right, okay, whatever. We'll just go. Right. Uh, or you could add credits. Five credits. There we go. Not that we're going to use them. My favourite plane as a grown up as a kid was always the F 14 Tomcat. I used to have little model F 14s, used to fly them around the room and stuff like that. So, F 14 Tomcat every time. I think it was the one using Afterburner, wasn't it? <laughs> GP. Winners do use drugs, Lance Armstrong, Ben Johnson. Yes, but they got it stripped away from them eventually, didn't they? Right. By the power of the Amstream, I have the spanner! <laughs> right. The target is the multi-rocket launchers. The most vulnerable target is... Oh, that was too quick. Do we spend our money or not? Uh, we've got 3,000. Oh, go on then. Let's have some fun. Energy bar, uh, shield, super shield, damage five times. It's nice it's got the weapon shop in the game. And off we go. It's a little slow moving. Oh, lovely graphics actually. If a little bit garish. And we have music in game. Uh, how do we use our special weapon? We just picked up. situation those tanks earlier. That's a weird way to use a special fire uh, special attack, but this is a god spot here maybe. Oh there's a homie oh homie missile Well we got through it though. Not a, bad, uh, not a bad conversion, this. Target is the invisible stealth bomber. Attack targets aren't being detected. Homing missiles can't even detect it. Uh, we've got $20,000. Chases enemies. Okay. Uh, what should we do here? Should we get the homing missiles or not? Just a lot of effort has gone into this conversion. Yeah, true, Batman. This is why I really appreciate it. Even if it's not the, the smoothest and the fastest uh, shoot em ups in the world. Oh! Len Danzig is your boss. Yeah, Brian. <laughs> Good stuff, man. Uh, looks like a Game Gear game, says Dreamy. I, th I think that's a that's a that's a compliment actually. Yeah. Um, looks great, but slow, slow, slow. Mm, yeah, yeah. Uh, 
Hey, Jester, how you doing, matey? Again, yeah. Uh, probably again, not too long ago, enjoyed it. It's quite an enjoyable game. I've seen old McDonald selling nukes. Do you know what? I'm going to exit that. Energy tank. Increases vitality. I'm going to buy that. I think it's more important we get our energy off early on. I didn't really need to use that special weapon on the first level, so get your energy tank up, I say. Oh, oh, oh. We actually have some parallax scrolling on the go, guys, by the way. I think it's actually slowing down the game a little bit. Oh, those green jars. I've increased my uh, size of my bullets and firepower, I think. I mean, this game like moves at quite a leisurely pace. It's definitely a, something just to chill out in as a shooter. Well, some shooter ups are extremely fast and in your face, bullet hell. This just moves along at a leisurely place, like a Sunday afternoon drive in the countryside. And if you're in a certain mood, this is a good game. Damn it. Took some damage there. So far, man, shovel. Are you liking the look of this? Oh, big enemy plain sprite. This is like the shoot em up game for people who find shoot em ups usually too fast and too in your face. <laughs> and it's nice you can have auto fire as well. I'm just holding down the fire button. I've got a nice auto fire happening as well. I like that. Uh, Mansion Service, the site. Oh, hang on. Let me just concentrate shooting these guys. Got through my bullets. You get. Uh, this looks impressive. Definitely slower than the SNES version. Uh, but it looks gorgeous. Uh, I'm trying to read it without dying, so I am. Uh, I'm quite faithful to the source material. It is very faithful, yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, I would like a bit more pace in this, of course, but. Ooh, 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 ooh. I mean, this, this particular level is chugging on a bit, 
I think, oh, this is the boss actually. We're, on, we're at the boss now. Right, can we shoot these flying things? We can, but they're not being destroyed. I think they're mines. Oh no! God, those mines take forever to be destroyed. Maybe we should have got a special weapon that would have taken out those mines. Yeah, my main weapon is just not... Oh, no! chat properly there. Uh, it's Tarhana. Did I miss that? I'm sorry. Let me let me catch it properly. GP says a Zypho Sunday is a sunbed, a jacuzzi, and telling Hayes but his pants. <laughs> oh man. Okay, I'll leave that there. Hey, uh, have a set for I oh, I've missed you ages ago. There, say good night. Sorry, dude. Just in case you're still here. Good night, have a set. Um, lovely to have you here again, mate. Don't be a stranger. You're always welcome back here, dude. Um, this looks easier than P47. No, it is, Johnny Boy. P47 is really good on the Amazon. Tarhan, uh, gotta go. Says good evening, bio. Take care, Tarhan. Good night, my friends. Thanks for popping in tonight. I hope you had a nice time. Um... I don't understand why they changed the name from Area 88 to Human Squadron when they brought it to the West. Area 88 is a way cooler name. Yeah. Actually, actually, I think both names are good. I like Air uh, with UN Squadron being slightly better. I don't know. Mm. Hey, Dreamy as well. Good night, the Dreamy artist. Okay, thanks for tuning in. Take care, everyone. Good night and sweet dreams. Sweet dreams to you too, Dreamy. We'll see you soon, hon. And have a lovely weekend. Hey, Mr. Simon Osborne, the flibble son. This game's running at one frames per second and he still gets hit by the world's slowest bullets. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, I would say it's one frame per second either. Um, but it depends if he gets surrounded by the bullets anyway. Also, I think because it's going so slow and leisurely, you start to, lo you start to lose your focus and just sort of chill in the game. We aren't taking it as, as seriously, but uh, uh, in terms of bullet dodging, I don't know. I don't know, Flipple. I made it to the end anyway. Scores are coming in. I've got an 8 out of 10 from Batman. A Retro Lim gives it a 7 out of 10. Um, oh, Area 88 was a manga comic, and due to regional distribution, it wasn't well known in the West, so they adopted the US budget name. That's why. Okay. Uh, Henry says, gonna call it a night too. Thanks again for streams I and see you next time everyone. Hey, good night Henry. Thanks for tuning in man. And uh, happy birthday again for last week man and cheers for your support as always Henry. I'm glad, to do, uh, glad I got to do a couple of your requests tonight as well. Uh, yeah, Sean, uh, we're doing uh, P47 as a weekly challenge uh, via Discord as well. In the, on, on Ant Stream. Have you got Ant Stream? Um, you might enjoy that. Uh, loads of our community are playing P47 at the moment. And every Tuesday, uh, I stream it on Twitch and try and beat everyone's scores. And we see who the winner is. Winner chooses the next game. Um, 8 out of 10 from Sean. All right, we're going we're gonna to have a look at one more level. Uh, we've got 40,000. So we're going to get the super shell. And we're going to increase... Our um, power bar as well. Ooh, 
Ooh, nice. Nice fly in the countryside here. Yeah, I think I'll give this an 8 out of 10 as well. Can we... Oh, I need to use the super shell there. Right. Oh dear, I'm blowing up the trees there. Well, good for the environment, that. Kids, don't go outside and blow up trees. Oh my goodness, that just destroyed me. Right, the super shell doesn't blow up the mines either. Oh man. Well, I want to get through this level without taking a single hit now. move on to uh, another game now so request in the chat what would you like to see yes this is UN squadron oh my god that's what killed me before I actually flew into one of the turrets it just uh, takes forever to destroy a few times on the Amstream but I'm happy to check out we're happy to I'm happy to do Bruce Lee. It's a game that I still need to learn a lot on. I never owned it as a kid. One day I will do a long play video of it. one in Bruce Lee. Uh, if we, I think we could do Thunderblade after uh, after Bruce Lee, perhaps. Wreck. <laughs> yes, wrecked earlier. Uh, HKM, oh god, no, you'll set Retro on Limb off on that one. Zorro, that's a good call, cool Mabs, as well. Ooh. Get to the Ams Chopper. I think we'll do the. Uh, I think we might do Thunderblade after the next game or something like that. Uh, hey, Andrea, good night, hon. Having an early night tonight, not going in the Discord after party. <laughs> if so, good night, Andrea. Take care. Thank you for all you do. Uh, all you do for the community, Andrea. It's very, very much appreciated. Um. 
Oh, uh, hey, Mike ZT as well. Good night. Good night, Arvins, etc., dude. Take care, Mike. And uh, thanks for tuning in as well, mate. Take care, man. Right. Okay, then. Okay, we'll move on to another game. All right, we'll get the classic Bruce Lee up then. All right. <laughs> Is there any music in this game? Can't remember. Look at that loading screen there. Oh, there is music. Nice. screen tune only. Okay guys, I'm just going to get another bottle of water from the kitchen. I'm also going to give me uh, eyes a little rest. I'll be back in like 30 seconds. Alright, we'll do some Bruce Lee, followed by maybe Thunderblade. We'll see. Alright, be right back. Oh, it's on demonstration mode. Okay. All right. No worries. Uh, so I have a grab a pork pie too. Uh, you remembered I'm from Metal Mowbray. <laughs> that doesn't mean I, well, I'm obsessed with pork pies. I haven't had one in... I had a bit of one for Christmas. And then it, it was about the previous Christmas last time I had pork pie as well. <laughs> Datasoft. How, where and how do I know that company? That was the original name for US Gold, I believe. Think. Hang on. Uh, or was it a company US Gold bought? Let me. Uh, oh, I've got, there's a Wikipedia article. DataSoft is a software developer and publisher for home computers founded in the 1980s, based out of California. Oh yes, and they. I think they. I think um, US Gold imported a lot of their games over. That's, I think that's how US Gold pretty much got started um, as a publisher because they were importing US made games over to the UK, hence the name US Gold. Um, but yeah, I'm sure they did like. Um, oh, they did loads of games. Hang on, what have I got here? I was going to say, B, I think I thought Beachhead was one of theirs. 84, so Bruce Lee, we know, did ports of Mr. Doom, Pac-Man, and Pole Position. Must have been for home computers. Um, oh, they did the Goonies, yes. Um, wow, okay, they got a lot of conversions there. Mercenary was a game from them. That was a cool game. Oh, and Black Magic, we did that on the last US Gold stream as well. <laughs> Oh, excuse me, guys. Sorry. Uh, okay. So, uh, it wasn't US Gold's original name, but they were one of the first companies like Epix. Uh, so, US Gold started importing games from Datasoft and Epix and stuff. Got them converted to the Amsterdam Spectrum, etc. And that's how US Gold sort of really got started. Yeah. 
you, uh, it's all Paul, are you saying you have a Metal Mowbray Pork Pie at least three times a week? So, bloody hell, the proper ones are this big, Paul. Right, if you're having three of them a week, I can't imagine the size of you. <laughs> and Novabug has Cornish pasties all over his loft. <laughs> right, okay, so when we... Um, oh, Retro Flame Bloke says, can you take control of Boochoo in this version? I, I didn't know that's a thing. I don't know much about the Bruce Lee game. So when we get to it, I know there's a part where there's like, you have to choose a route out of three doorways, right? So be prepared to tell me where that is, chat. Hyrodel says he's off for an ammo spot. I did actually do an ammo spot in the kitchen. <laughs> it's been building up a while. <laughs> I also did get another bottle of water ready. <laughs> right. Um... There's an enhanced version of this on the spectrum. What's oh? What does it? What does that add, uh, Simon? But you reckon Craig reckons this is the best version out of the Commodore 64 and Specky, right? Uh, the green guy is the green green Yamo. Second player can take control of Specky. Apparently, you can do on the Amstrad. Okay. Oh, I see. Uh, oh. Press B for opponent. Right, I'll, I will check that out after we've had a playthrough. Right, okay. Have you never completed this? I have on stream. But we, uh... But we fudged our way through it on the stream. I... I think I accidentally completed it you doing uh, uh, by glitching through one of the walls in one of the hardest like levels later on and surprised the hell out of everyone and like how did you do that Zyle or something um I remember yeah I have good memories of that <laughs> okay I think I remember roughly what to do here fire right if you move in Press the fire button, you do the flying kick. Okay. But I'll collect all the lanterns. Oh, oh, oh! I think they're stuck there. They, they can't climb up again, can they? Oh. No! Managed to get out of there. Yeah, we could try and have a look at Zoro as well, Jez Dukes. Yeah, I've heard a lot of good stuff about that. That's more of an adventure puzzle game, but done in the same style as Bruce Lee, right? Because it's like, the, isn't there, in Zoro, isn't there objects to collect and things to do with them or something? Arse. Oh yeah, they start to fight each other as well, don't they? Get that one first. You're not against a time limit in this game, are you guys? So you can take your time a bit. <laughs> Brian loves this game, says this is brilliant. <laughs> um... Telling a pork pie is I saw a real game changer, uh, says Brian, with a pork pie containing a layer of black pudding. Oh my goodness. I don't know if, I don't know if I'm a fan of that, um, it's Brian Hooper. <laughs> Sounds nasty. <gasps> oh no! My, my, my toe caught the thing there. I should not be dying there. I lost two bloody lives to that. Oh, I've got the timing right there at least. Ha 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 ha! Tortazzo! Tortazzo! Wrecked! Oh! Oh, I could just walk onto that. Okay. 
Oh no, they're all coming up with me. Ah! The, uh, <laughs> the green guy just punched the black ninja. Nice. You're missing lanterns. Uh, am I? Guys, did I miss a lantern? Do I need to go back? Brian reckons the black pudding uh, pork pie abomination sounds exotic and erotic. Brian, there might be, there might be something wrong with you there. <laughs> if you're getting sexually excited about that abomination. I did miss one. Crap. Is that going to screw me up the rest of the game? And there's no time limit. Thank you, Sean. That... Oh, that was lucky, actually. That was lucky as well. one on the last screen bud but can't go back i think i'm okay because yeah it's opened the exit up isn't it so <gasps> oh oh yeah 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 yeah. i remember this one right you gotta go yeah yeah yeah, yeah. you gotta drop down and then jump right haven't you ooh, ooh, ooh. Yay! There we go. Uh, I don't think we can get across there. We have to go left here. Uh, there's a lot wrong with me, <laughs> Brian. Uh, Mrs. Zypho said the same thing about me. I still enjoy cheese and apple sandwiches. Cheese and apple. Oh, come on! I literally just walked on the screen there and it wrecked cheese and apple sandwiches i put i have put some unusual things of cheese over the years but apple it's one i've never thought of good grief good grief brian i thought no one would ever out cheese me but i think you have done tonight uh Right, okay. We'll try the Buchu thing or whatever it is. The green, was it green Yamo thing out? Uh, after we've had a little playthrough of this in one player. Cheese and apples are beautiful. Moose has tried that. Bloody hell. What's wrong with you lot? <laughs> okay, Brian, so you're not the only one. Oh, bloody hell, that's going down a lot quicker. Right, okay. Uh, pineapple and cheese, yes. But apple, ew. I don't think it'll be disgusting. It'll just be a bit bizarre. It's just two weirdly weird textures with each other. Maybe the apple was washed up. I don't know. Hmm. Cheese just cheese does go surprising of a lot of stuff. Blue cheese with pears. Oh my goodness. Right. Okay. Well, I think we're all going a bit slightly mad now. Gouda, apple, and bacon on seeded rye. Wow, okay, right, you guys are shocking me now. More people having cheese and apple. Can we, can we escape up here? Oh, we can, right, okay. So, falls, I've only, it says top right falls one. Does that mean I've only... 
I've got one. I've got no lives left now, right? Okay, I'm gonna take this carefully. So far, just coming up there, uh, off the top of my head, sounds appealing. Oh, okay, so it was a, it was an idea, right? Got, I got you. Oh, you can go prone, bless it. Oh, look at that. Uh, so we need to drop down here. Okay. Mabs has never heard of this fetish for lanterns. <laughs> Yeah, I don't get the whole lantern collecting thing and what it's got to do with Bruce Lee, but hey, I'll, I'll go with it. Uh, Sean says you're all sick. And then the following comment from GP. Sprouts boiled and dipped in Silic Bang. <laughs> now there's a combo. Go on, away with you. Oi! No! I got wrecked right quite far in. Oh, bloody hell. I wouldn't have mind trying to long play this and I decided to fight them. That was stupid, really. God damn it. How far into the game was I there? About halfway. Decked and wrecked. Yeah. Um... Hey, the lonely has. Hey, how you doing? Um, there's a, you don't understand the cheese and apple. I better not share that I like strawberry jam and mayo sandwiches. Ooh, okay. I'm going to have to try to remember this conversation because Mrs. Zypho reckons I have weird combinations of cheese. Like, she doesn't understand how cheese and salad cream go together. I'm like, what? Of course cheese and salad cream go together. It's gorgeous. Cheese and mayo works together as well. Um, but, like, we've got... But... <laughs> mayo and strawberry jam. Oh, man. Oh, that, 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 that is a weird combo. But I, I'll, I'll probably try it. I would try it. <laughs> hey, Jimmy. Good night, dude. Uh, t oh, let's pause my music here. Good night, Jimmy. It's great to see you. Have a great weekend, everyone. See you soon. Take care, Mr. Cyber. Thank you very much. Awesome show as always, dude. Top man. No, thank you, man. Thank you for tuning in, mate. All the best to you and JD. Have a great weekend, guys. And take care. Have a good one, man. Thank you for the kind words, as always. Right, I'm going to have two players. Uh, B for computer, uh, press B, computer, opponent, computer, or opponent. What does this change then? Manageable as cottage cheese and ketchup. Well, that, I, that's, that can work. I mean, essentially it's cheese and tomato. Cheese and tomato goes together. It's just weird textures. Chocolate and salt with vinegar crisps. That does go well together, actually. You, eaten, you ever eaten a chocolate bar with a in, in your lunchbox? You had a packet of uh, salt and vinegar crisps, and you got a little bit of chocolate. Eat both at the same time. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, that works. Did that as a kid. That's good. That's good. I went back to the sheer joy of 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 a marmite and mayo sandwich. Good lord, marmite and mayo. You're all mutants, man. Uh, my stomach is heaving here. <laughs> yeah, I did cheese and chocolate pancakes. Lovely. Yes. Uh, yeah, that's the same thing, man shovel. That that works as well. Yeah, you've opened Pandora's box. I was, whoever it was. Who, how did this conversation start again, guys? Right, um... What does pressing B to switch between computer and opponent mean? Right, I don't know. Let's have a look. Uh, oh, the joystick isn't working. 
joystick isn't working here. Oh, that's up. A Z. Oh. Okay. Hang on. Hang on. Oh, okay. Okay. I think I was controlling the green. Gr green. What's his name? Zamo. Whatever. Yes, look, I'm controlling the green. I'm controlling the green guy here, and we can we can beat up Bruce Lee. Although we can't at the moment. Hang on, let's get him up here. Ha ha! So you can have two players and players the green, green what's it thingy, and yes, we just killed him. Now, interestingly, I'm now. In uh, joystick is now controlling Bruce Lee. Weird! The controls are swapped around. Now it's keyboard controlling the green guy. But that's a bit of a... I think that's a bit of a bug. And also, you start with eight, li eight, eight lives. Oh, does it double the lives up? Um, oh, actually, let's see. Can the can the green Zamo, whatever his name is, collect the lanterns for you? Um, OJB's likes uh, banana sandwiches. <laughs> um, and Sean says, if I recall correctly. Oh, let's actually, hang on a second. Let's just see. Can I collect lanterns and help out Bruce? Uh, for some reason, he's auto moving left now. And can't jump up. Something's gone wrong. Uh, this two player mode is not working very well. Either I'm a. Uh, something to do the emulator or the disc dump. I don't know. And now the ninja's attacking the green guy. Hmm. Not a bug. Winner plays as Bruce Lee. Oh, okay. But the controls are screwed up because I can't control the zap. Uh, what's his name? The gr oh. Oh, I can now. What the hell happened there? And he, he can't collect the lanterns. Right, okay. So he, he's there to ruin Bruce Lee's day, essentially. Right. Um, sorry if I didn't understand it there. Uh, no, uh, no, Zypho. Player 1 has, uh, has player 2 control for Yamo. Player 2 has player 1 controlling Yamo. So there's a two-player option on a two-player one after the other game. That makes no sense at all, Craig. But I think I get the gist of it. Right. Okay. <laughs> all right. What? FC Denhog in Netherlands, we love raw herring with onions. You guys, you guys are disgusting. FC Denhog. Good grief. Good grief. <laughs> all right. Okay. So, um... Okay, question, guys. Would you like me to, um... Give Bruce Lee another run, see if I can beat it. Why, why did the music stop there? I don't know. Uh. Would you like me to give Bruce Lee another run, see if I can uh, get, get to the end? Or shall we move on to the next game? Let me know in the chat. Uh, and Canadians inv inv invented the Hawaiian pizza. Again, I have no trouble with pineapple on pizza. Uh, Craig says, when player one is controlling Bruce Lee, player two control Yamo. Instead of just waiting for their turn, but it swaps over. Okay, right. Yeah, yeah, that is better. Yeah. You won the Ams Copter. Craig says another run, so it's split at the moment. Uh, uh, and Sean says, I'll explain it. One player versus opponent is Bruce. This is Gemma. Two player versus opponents means two people take alternate turns of Bruce. Right, gotcha. Whoa! So cool, dude! Thank you for the two pound, man. 
just buy yourself a cheese and mayo sarni. <laughs> I will do, mate. I will do. Thank you, dear. Let's see the bananas in the chat for the tall ball. The TP. TP is not needed for my bong hole. But thank you, tall Paul. <laughs> Cheers, matey. Thank you very, very, very much there. And uh, cheers, matey. Have a great weekend. And nice to see the bananas in the chat there for Tall Paul. Um, so where were we? Um, let's see. Uh, where we? Choco Pizza is terrible. We're still on about the food. <laughs> um, it was split between another run and Am's Copter. Um, I think Bruce Lee would give it another go. Right, could give it one more go, says Maud. Um... OJ Bees is dreaming of Cornish pasties. Go for another game. You have a way to go to beat it. Uh, I'll go for a different uh, game. Right, okay. So, it's on a... At the moment, she walks through the game. Right, okay. You want to... Oh, right. Let's try that. Let's try the book Craig Harrison is talking about there. Hang on. One player beat three computer. Hang on. Uh, on the right most of the first three screens. Right, okay. I'll do that. It's the bottom right, right, and then lay down. Oh! Right. You walk through the wall to the end of the game. Oh, we have to go up here. Right, okay, 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 okay. Oh, I see it. Right, hang on. Well, it looks like it's near enough the end of the game. So we'll just do this bit then, and, th and then we'll move on. Oh, this is... Oh, okay. Okay. Right. 60% of the game bypassed. <laughs> okay, so which of those doors do I go through, guys? I remember this. Hence, I, I, I knew to ask this, actually. Oh, should I gone up the ladder there? Oh, crap. You're only skipping about six or seven screens, says Sean. Uh, which one do I go through, guys? Which one? Left, middle, or right? You need to go through all of them. I told you about this, GP. Stop s sneaking into my uh, wheelie bin outside. Uh, do we need to get that lantern? No! Got wrecked. Maybe we ought to just in case. Oh, I see. Oh yes, there's a, there's a there's a way to get 99 lives. Uh, ha ha, wrecked. Uh, well, that's opened up top right there. Which we oh you can reach from here. Sorry, I'm an I'm an idiot. 
This gives right from there's a yin yang lantern to give you extra life. So go back and collect them five times. You get 99 lives if you don't lose a life. Hang on, we didn't. There was a there was a section I missed here, wasn't there? Right at the very bottom right. Down here. Right. Okay. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As soon as I open there, there are yin yangs that give you extra. Oh. Oh, right. Okay. Oh, we could get nice. Uh, you could go back and keep collecting them. So if I go this way, I come back. In. Oh, they're still there. And Lewis Wado. Hey, dude. Welcome back, man. But Super Jet is working with this, and I'm off to bed. Good night, Amosman. Matt, who's safe? Am's love to you all. Stay safe. Keep the 8-bit dream alive. Lewis with the £4.99 for the super chat there. Give you loads of dancing sugars for that. <laughs> Exclamation mark. Bananas in the chat. Let the bananas rain down. The lovely Lewis there. Thank you, man. Thank you very, very, very much, mate. Lovely words there, as always. Um, cheers, dude. Thank you, man. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> nice, mate. Nice. Uh, Brian, cheers for that, dude. Let me know what was said there as well, mate. If you could DM me, I miss I missed what was said there. But uh, che cheers for sorting that. Uh, Dan Sugar Dance, Lewis. Hope all is good with you, mate. Uh, again, good luck with the house. Oh, I see. You have to keep going back again. At Rex. Oh, but if you lose a life, they stop respawning. How rude. Okay. So, Lewis, yeah, I hope the house uh, sorts out all right, mate, for you. Oh, no. And I got wrecked again there. And uh, have a great weekend, my friend. And, of course, good luck at the arcade club as well, man. Can't wait to get up there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, just ignore it, chat. Thank you, board. Uh, which one we haven't done? We haven't done this one, have we? Right. All right, one. Ah, <laughs> right, dickhead. That opens up. Oh, no, it's this room. Ass. Come on, I can get... No, I'm an idiot. Close. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, it starts you right from the top again. I think there's a harder room than this as well, isn't there? Is, it, is this the hardest room? Whoa. Oh. Poop, and that's game over. All right then. Okay, we'll move on from Bruce Lee. I, I need. To, I probably need to um, practice that room a lot more then. But uh, this screen always killed you back in the day. I think this is where most people got wrecked, right? There we go. A bit of Bruce Lee for you. Okay, so uh, we wanted some. We promised some Thunderblade next, didn't we, ladies and gentlemen? We'll. Uh, Oh, this is often a problem with emulators because of the vertical screen refresh. We might have to, have to play around with this one. Uh, let's see if it cocks up or not. Hey, uh, so good night again to Lewis. Oh, yeah, hang on. Yes, we've got this problem again. Uh, vertical hold. Oh. Right, uh, we've got one zero. Let's put it to my. Oh, there we go. 
but I think that thing should be at the bottom, not at the top there. So we'll try and we'll try and sort that. Minus fifteen. Let's try fifteen. Oh dear, it's some CRT C trick it's trying to do here. That is not. That is not helping at all. Oh dear. Minus six. Minus six. Yeah, that's not right. Never this problem on real hardware, I know, I know. Hmm, where are we on? Minus 15 on the vertical hold. All right. Yeah, it should be at the bottom, but on my LCDs, it stays at the top. How weird is that? That's such a weird thing to happen in an emulator. Uh, oh, sorry, I was going to say goodnight to GP there as well. Good night, Mr. GP. Right, I'm just going to have a quick uh, swig of my water. One sec. Now. We're back out a bit there as well. Mm. Oh, we could get the AMS copter out for this one as well. I haven't used that um, uh, speed control. Oh, uh, this is important. There's a speed control for this. Um, and that could be quite important in this game, so I think I'm going to switch to using keyboard for this. Good night, GP, you naughty little boy, anyway. Uh, I'm going to go keyboard. Oh, crap, I forget. I forget how this works. Um... You do need to vary your speed in the game, otherwise you get in, you get in real trouble. Hang on one second, guys. Oh, I'm just looking at the map, getting the manual up very quickly. So I'll show you what I'm looking at at the moment. Thunderblade. Uh, manual. On blaze. Oh, okay. QAOP shift. Oh, it's E and D. E and D. Change of speed. Right, okay. Right, loading from disk. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to change my fire button here just very quickly. Guys, sorry about, the, sorry about this. Let's have space bar. There we go. And, oh, 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 I forgot to um, uh, take off the browser catcher. Oops. Right, we're in game then. Hey, FC Denha, good night, dude. <laughs> take care, man. I'm still in disgust about the raw herrings and onions thing in Holland, but uh, still love you, man. <laughs> take care, dude. Okay, take care. I play movement on joystick and speed on keyboard. Yeah, that's uh, too many hands and stuff moving around. Um, I don't know where Ma Matt Miser's gone to, Paul. He was around a while ago. Claude Rains, good evening, Darren. How are you doing, man? Good to see you, dude. How's tricks, man? I hope all, all is good over there. Right, let's get, in the, uh, let's get the AMS copter out. I haven't had this out in ages. 
I've got the AMS copter. Have I got the car? Uh, okay. Oh yeah, there I am. I'm a bit, I'm a bit small in the AMS copter. Let me, uh, let me sort that out. I don't know. Is that better? <laughs> Who knows? Right, there we go. Well, caught. Yeah, that will do there. The old AMS copter. Blimey, we need a better graphic for that, but that will do for tonight. <laughs> the music's a little low. Uh, yeah, I'll pop the. Just turn the music up just a touch. Go. That might be a bit better. Oh no! I just got wrecked. Good night again, FC Den Haag. Well, it's attempting 3D. Almost works. Almost works, but. It's clever how they kind of use black and white tiles for it. But it, 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 it still doesn't work very well. Ah, oh, again, it just, it's really hard to see anything here. Um... One of my favourite reviews ever in Abstraction Magazine famously called this an explosion in a Lego brick factory <laughs> in terms of the graphics. And they, I thought that was a brilliant quote. That's quite true. Uh, this is probably my favourite level, but again, it's just really hard to make out anything. Right. I have no idea how I died there. Was that a fireball that killed me or did I fly into a helicopter? It's a brave attempt trying to convert a very, very powerful and impressive looking arcade game at the time. God, I died again? And if you take this more cautiously, you can get through it without taking hits and stuff like that. Retro VM gets the title screen mode right, does it? That's interesting, Craig. Maybe Lord Shock is crying again. <laughs> Alan does look terrified. Well, I, <laughs> how many times have I crashed so far? He's got good reason to be. Too much rolled 8 bit machines. Yeah. I mean, maybe, maybe the top down levels like this may be fair a little bit better. Although, why is this battleship got a red and white striped deck? Who would, <laughs> who would bother to paint the deck in on a battleship like that? Oh, so I missed a bit there. Supposed to be wood grain. <laughs> oh, umpa lumpers usually does the trick. What on earth is that in the regards to? I, I think I missed a conversation there. Right, 
I'll go. I'll go back and read the chat after this. <laughs> after this boss level. That should be it. There we go. Is US gold an anagram for slow arcade boss? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they... This is... <laughs> sadly, this is one of the more better ones. Mad, you like in the Ams Chopper. Nice, thank you, man. And to be honest about... Uh, with, like, Batman, uh, I did enjoy this as a kid. I was quite okay with it. It was like nothing I'd played before, says uh, Batman. I suppose, yeah, with all the different variety of uh, en uh, levels, yeah. Right, okay, let's have a look. I'm just going to catch up on the chat there quickly. Uh, you don't think you've seen the Amscots before? I always keep forgetting to bring it out when we have uh, helicopter games. It's an old graphic we made a long time ago. <laughs> I think this was when we had Fl uh, Fly Spy long play. We did we beat Fly Spy on stream. We had Richard Applin in the chat. Um, I don't, uh, what was that? I saw something about uh, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom having a bug. I don't remember the bug. Unless you're talking about, like, the, there isn't an ending to the game. There's a, there's an extra bonus final level where you just run around and you just, there's nothing to do apart from get killed. Uh, I don't know if that's a bug or not, or it's just like they could be asked to do an ending to the game. Who knows? Robin says there's a lot going on here. There is indeed. They've tried. They've tried, haven't they, in this one? Um, uh, I feel like they were just being a bit ambitious when they could have ported the Master System version. What did the Master System do differently, Man Shovel? Did it try? Did it just do a way of trying to replicate the 3D sections? I'm assuming they did. Oops, excuse me, guys. Sorry about that. I'd imagine this was multi-load hell on tape. Uh, yes, it wasn't much fun. I did have it on tape in the back in the day, but yeah, the the yeah, the multi-load wasn't great on this. I tell you that. No. Oh, this is where things take a nosedive on the frame rate because it's trying to do the canyon walls there, and it's re and it's really suffering. I have no idea how I got hit and died there, but okay. Ooh, excuse me, guys. Not much gameplay here on these kind of le on this this kind of level. It's just a 3D attempts at the uh, 3D at the side there. Just massively slowing everything down. I'm just weaving left and right. I don't know if I'm going to hit anything at all. Just holding down the fire button, hit hit and hope really. Nice attempt, but it's failed really, isn't it? I do got a bit of sprite scaling there on the go. Alright. Oh, this looks a bit better. Not much better. really hard to sort of actually purposely try and hit something. <laughs> I, I, I don't know why I couldn't hit that tank there. Uh, 
As we come onto the uh, boss level there. Oh, there's some people I need to speak to you there. Um, hey, Brian. Mr. Brian Hooper. Sadly, I got to tap out. Uh, have a great weekend and week ahead. Much love, Brian. Brian, no worries, mate. Enjoy your disgusting food combinations. <laughs> uh, and have a great weekend, mate. Lovely to have you here, as always, dear. Love the positivity and all that. Take care, man. Take care. Have a great weekend, Ginny family. Uh, with various angles and playstyles, I may as well load a whole new game for each level. <laughs> yeah. But as Novabug says there, welcome back again, Chris. Uh, multi load is all part of the cassette experience. It is indeed. Did we have more patience back in the late 80s, early 90s? I don't know. Uh, Manchester also says the Master System version, it had traditional vertical shoot levels. And the 3D parts were scaling much like an 8-bit racer. Ooh. Let's have a look. I'll have to have a look at that. We'll do a proper Master System stream again soon, Man Shuffle, where I'll take requests to do a mixture of games rather than just that one game all night. Um, but, yeah. Good night again, Bri. Oh, excuse me, guys. I'm getting a little tired as well, but I'm all good, all good. I can totally see what US Gold was trying to do, says Man Shovel as well, uh, but the end result is not a pretty game. No. Uh, as I said, explosion in a Lego brick factory. <laughs> it is way too slow. Um, US Gold must have had the same quality control team as Happy Eater. <laughs> hey, I used to love the Happy Eater back in the day, Lonely has. Talking of Happy Eater. Oh, man. I'll, sh I'll show you something after, the after this game. If anyone got, has got some good memories of Happy Eater, uh, I had something ready for Yellow Belly Stream, but I, I, I didn't get a chance to show it. But uh, if anyone wants to start talking about Happy Eater in the chat, go for it. And I'll dig something out and show you and do a show and tell. I think this is meant to be a giant tank. Pushing forward as best you can. Yeah, it's a tank. I can see the tread of the tyres there. Uh, always keep pushing forward so that you can move back and maneuver. Oh, oh, maneuver yourself around. Oh, I thought I was going to die then. Get back here. Got it. I more of these bloody things. Happy Eater was great. Oh, man. Some of my happiest memories are from Happy Eater. I miss that restaurant. I always thought Little Chef was never as good as Happy Eater. And Little Chef was the one that bloody survived. Is Little Chef still going, guys? Uh, I know he nearly went out of business uh, quite a few years ago. And they had a Heston Bloom tilt on that program trying to help them resurrect it. I'm guessing Happy Eater was another balmy English thing in the 80s. Yeah. Uh, Happy Eater was a chain of restaurants that you'd often find alongside A roads and motorways that you'd pull over and get some sausage and chips from and an and a average milkshake. But I loved it as a kid. Their logo also looked a bit like Pac-Man as well, which helped a lot. <laughs> sort of a fast food chain. Their meals were simple, but they were the classics. You know, pie and chips, <laughs> egg and chips, sausage and chips. Um... God, God knows what else they did. They probably did like curries and all sorts, but um, the, the breakfast, oh, the Olympic breakfast, yeah. All right. Okay, I think that's probably enough uh, Thunderblade for tonight. So I'm going to, I'm going to pop out, I, I'm going to pop out the Ams Copter now. Uh, I've done long plays of this and, and stuff in the past. So what is the next game we should play, uh, ladies and gentlemen? I'm going to disappear out of there. Oh, there we go. <laughs> well, what request for the next US Gold game? 
US Gold game. And I'll show you something very quickly. Oh no, I can't. Oh, I thought it was in the next room. It's not. It's in the it's in the bedroom with Mrs. Zypho asleep, and I don't think she'd be very happy about me stumbling in and trying to find it in the dark and waking her up. But no, I actually found a little uh, Happy Eater like baseball cap with the logo and stuff like that. Uh, I thought I'd come and show it on the stream. Never mind. Uh, welcome back, Neil. How you doing, man? Uh, Brian O'Higgins as well says, it says, good night from me. I'll refresh uh, if you can't see video. Are we back? Hello? <laughs> Mab's doing the minus counts there. Hello? Uh, can anyone see me? Say so in the chat. Thunderblade broke the stream. I'll be back. Hello. <laughs> yay, we've got, we've got some yays there. Back. Yeah, Virgin. I was, oh man, I, f I forgot to I forgot to warn everyone. Virgin. Um, I did at the start of the stream, but I forgot to remind you all that it was coming off. Actually, it's caught me out because normally it's about 1.30 in the morning. So every morning, uh, it's been, used to be around about half midnight. Now it's around about quarter past one to like half one, one forty-ish. In that window there, like Virgin just pull the plug and plug it back in again, basically on me. I don't know why it's happening. Uh, it's driving me absolutely bananas. Actually, anyone watching on catch up will just see a seamless there and then start again, which is actually a really good thing about um, YouTube live streaming. But uh, the YouTube keep the stream going until I reconnect back. Uh, whereas Twitch, it would like end it and then you'd like start a whole new stream. It would basically start a whole new stream up. But hey, that's good. Um, but anyway, we're back. We're back. And also, I was going to ask for a request. I know we want to crack on though. So I'm going to pull up uh, 720 because I really wanted to play that this evening and check that out. So I want to get a game up. This is 720 degrees. Because um, uh, I remember rev reminiscing about seeing this game, the arcade game, oh, music, on uh, the first class TV program. There we go. And I thought I'd check out the conversion there. So thank you, everyone. Hey, we got Batman still here. None of your biz. Oxo, hey, D man. Uh, uh, Yur Yuri? Am I pronouncing that right? Yuri or Yuri? Oh, could I? Oh. Yuri Pavlovich. Let me know if I'm pronouncing your name right there. Welcome back. Welcome back. Robin, Johnny Boy, Sean, Arnie, Retro Game Bloke, Neil, Man Chivalrous Fergu, and the Lonely House and Mabs there. Craig, Tall Paul. Thank you for sticking with us, guys. Cheers. Thank you so much. Um. Bring their retention department. I'm gonna be Johnny Boy. I'm gonna be. So if you're ever gonna argue with Virgin Media and try and get yourself a better deal and all that kind of stuff, arm yourself first with all the problems you've had, list them, um, and what a crap service they've had. And secondly, make sure you've done some research into what deals are available with other companies elsewhere. Because Virgin, no, they have got the highest speeds out of any company at the moment. Unless you can get something like Hyper Optic or another cable company in your area. that Not many companies have cabled everywhere yet. Uh, if not, just get a quote from like Sky or something and say like, well they've offered me this. So always have an offer from another company in back pocket before you go to um, complain with the retentions, yeah. Yeah, Virgin. That's right, yeah, it's Virgin Media. <laughs> Yeah, it has a downtime every day, sometime after midnight, for only for about two, three minutes. Oh, good to hear, Novabog. I was wondering how you were going to do with uh, coverage in Cornwall. Right, okay. When you, uh, well, that was a few years ago when he moved down there, yeah.
Oh, nice. Yeah, we jumped back up to nearly 60 viewers. That's really, really good, guys. Especially at nearly 2 in the morning. So thank you, everyone, for sticking with. And uh, what are we up to on the likes and stuff? 58 likes. So, yeah, if anyone wants to give us another thumbs up and a like on the video, I'd very much appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Right, uh, 720. I wanted to really want to check this out. Just going to take a snappy on here. 720 title, uh, title screen. What I want to do is play the ramp. Welcome to Skate City. Oh, yeah, you have to collect money as well. You have to pay your way in, don't you, or something. Oh, there's some. Oh, there's a timer. What's going on there? There's a naked man shaking his fist at me. Uh, oh, what's this one then? The Downhill Park. I think this is the one I want. Yeah, this is the one I wanted to play uh, most of all. This is the level that featured on the TV show I was talking about, First Class. So let's see how it is. Right, okay. Actually, this does actually play quite like the arcade version. I got a gold medal of 100. Is that it? Is that all that level is? Is this Skate Glide? No, this is 720 degrees. Oh. Sale, what's this? Uh, uh, I don't know what I just bought. Did I buy something there, guys? Bought a, I think I bought a skateboard. Oh, what's this one here? Uh, the jump park, right. Oh, okay. Oh, you've got to land on the red dot. Oh, no! Oh, splash! Oh, oh, oh it's glitched! What's going on? Well, that was a load of rubbish. Sean, stop. Re He's talk Sean's talking about my helmet. A <laughs> matron. Uh, okay, so we can't go and play. Go back and play that one. Right. Okay. Never mind. Oh, there's a timer ticking down. If we take too long, uh, I think bees come and attack us or something. Oh, you can do little spinny roundy moves. Cool. Oh, there's there's a one. Skate or die. Slalom park. Okay, let's take a snappy here. Slalom. Sort of controls okay. I don't get what happened with the glitchiness on that last run though. Uh, on that uh, silver medal. Oh, okay. You need to buy three helmets, three shoes, one pad, and one board. They're on the right hand side of the screen. Right. But I think we have to get a money up first, don't we, Sean? Like by getting medals and stuff. Am I wrong about that? Ramp Park, okay. Save a snappy there. Uh, 
I don't quite know what the controls are here. Silver medal, right. Uh, once you finish the four parks, you do it again, but the time goes down quicker. Right. The four parks, you need to jump and waggle the stick when not in a park to earn tickets. Okay. Oh, like there. Oh, and, uh, yeah, saw some money on the floor back down here. Thank you. I got some. Ooh, got lots of money here. Cool. Uh, where's the. Oh, hang on, the timer's running out. You've got to escape now. No ticket! Oh, what? Hang on, where do we get the ticket from? Skate or die. I've got that. Oh no. Uh Oh. Sorry to park, but Oh, it got me in the end. Credits too. So what? How do we? How do we get a ticket? Is there? A, oh, is there like a ticket booth in the centre of the map or something? Wait. We haven't got any tickets. Uh, I'm waggling. Oh no, and I fell there. Once you're at higher points, you'll get a ticket. Right. I'll, I'll keep trying that then. You got a hundred points there. So I have to keep just just keep doing this. Oh, I've got a ticket. Okay. T is not there's there a value of one next to T. Cool, we've got that. Can I go back and buy an oh oh no we haven't got enough money. Okay. No 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 Oh no I just got a ticket If I hadn't have jumped I would have got into the slalom park yeah You got 400 points for a jump, right? Okay. Hmm. What's that last item in the bottom right there, Sean? So you got a helmet. Uh, are they? Oh, they're knee pads. Right, we need to find the knee pad shop. That's why you need the three helmet species and one pad and one board. So you should do that. You should just go to the shop and buy as many as you can straight away. Is that right? And then how do you get more money, Sean? Just from picking them up on the floor. I, pr I think I pretty much picked up all the money. It disappears. Oops. Ah, oh, get out my way. Right. 
get that. I see I got a better skateboard. Oh no! Skate or die. Oh, sod off! Ah! That's really annoying. One of each of everything. Uh, to begin with. Uh, right, okay. Oh, yeah, we need a helmet. Thank you. I'm sure there was more money about there. There's some money. Get out of my way, bitches. We better get in here because the timer's running out. Okay, I get it. Right. You can't jump for crap at the start because you've got no gear. Cool, gold medal. And you get $100. Right. Okay, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Oh, she. What? I can't buy stuff from there. Why not? Right, what's over here? Okay. That was the knee pad shot. Skate or die, we've got a. F oh no! Where's the nearest one? Oh! He just knocked me down! Okay. Oh! Silver medal. Okay, not bad. Yeah, this is quite cool, actually. You can't jump for crap at the start because you've got no gear, basically. Yeah. Uh, also, jump around until you're told to hurry to pop, then go. That way you can earn more points for tickets. Right. Got it. Okay. I get it. I get it. Oh, why am I going that way? Money there, money, money, money. Ah! I will get in here. Oh no! Oh no! God damn it! Right, let's do the jump part. How do you know that? Oh, I've got a target there. How do you know where the targets are going to be? Prior knowledge? Uh, I don't know. Oh, <laughs> God, it's not the bees. Is there some sort of um, Wicker Man mashup? <laughs> Good question, Arnie. Uh, oh, that shop's closed. Okay, fair enough. Ow. Come on, get up by the... By the helmet. Oh, they cut the... These cost more now. Okay. Cool. Okay. 
Skate or die time. Uh, where's where's the nearest one? Oh, oh no, no! Bloody cyclists! No say, I haven't got enough money. Go, no, do, 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 do. go this way, this way, this way, this way. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Shoo! Oh! What, 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 what? Okay. Am I supposed to be doing anything here beyond doing that? Those little handstands? But okay. Right. Only got a silver medal there. Ugh. That's that looks like a mighty high score you got there, Sean. Money. Oh no! Oh no! Actually, this seems pr this seems like a fun game. Okay, it's quite obviously a specy port, guys, isn't it? Ass. Um. Skate or die. Uh, but it's actually quite good fun downhill park what do you reckon guys would you still did you enjoy this back in the day if you owned it do you think you would enjoy playing this yourself now uh what do you reckon a score out of 10 should be for this one it definitely needs a bigger plane window definitely needs a bigger plane window that's it that's its main issue for me i'll, I'll live with the specky portitis stuff no sale. Oh, it's $150. Okay, oh my god. One dollar? That only owned me one dollar? Blimey. Oh yeah, we need to earn uh, tickets. $100. Oh, we got this. Hey, there we go. Skate or die time. Oh no, 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 no. There's one here. No, t oh no, we haven't got any tickets. Wrecked. Game over. Well, there you go. I will leave that game there. I was actually having a bit of fun with that one. So we've got scores like Retro Lim gives it a 6 out of 10. But Robin Hook of a 6 out of 10. Johnny Boy says I love this back in the day, 7 out of 10. Matt Myers thinks he would enjoy it as well. Thinks he would enjoy it, sorry. 7 out of 10. And Maud gives it 7 20 out of 10. I get you, I get you. Uh, 7 out of 10 uh, for not having those annoying bees. <laughs> Uh, Sean says you're waggling too fast, slow the motion down, you can just go to 12, 720 degrees. Right, okay dude. Needs more practice then, yeah. Not bad for my, I think I've played this maybe briefly a couple of times on the stream before, but um, that wasn't too bad there. Craig gives it a 6 out of 10 for effort. The wipe sand is the whip from Temple of Doom, isn't it? Yeah, I think this is coded by the same guy who did that. Um, John Prince, I think his name is. Yeah. <laughs> well spotted loser. Six out of ten because the bees look like tumbleweeds. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I like the Tasmanian Devil as well. Nightwolf gives it a six and Retro Lim a seven. Okay guys, we're, we're coming towards the end of the stream. I think we can squeeze a couple more games in. What else, uh, what other US Gold games would you like to see? Let's put them in, let's see them in the chat. Um, I I actually need to nip to the loo again <laughs> really quickly. 
I know I've had a few breaks tonight, but it's really helped me with my eyes, and uh, I've got through it all right tonight. So, request in the chat. I'll be uh, one minute, okay, guys? I really need to go to the loo, actually. Right, I'll see what those requests are in just a second. Right, be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. I had to investigate some noises in the kitchen as well. The cats were being naughty, uh, naughty cats. So what we got there? Black Tiger. That's been requested a few times tonight, actually. F-15 Strike Eagle. I don't, I don't remember that being a, a, a game. Uh... Strike Eagle. Oh, that's Microprose, not um, US Gold, sadly. Oops, excuse me. Man Shovel. Beachhead 2. Oh, God, no. Raid could do Outrun Europa. Um, oh, actually, two requests for Raid. One request for Beachhead. Uh, was there ever a game with the Anthra Crocodile in it? Sadly not, Matt Mize. Though someone should make a homebrew game um, with the Croc. Yeah. Kung Fu Master. Was that? Was that US Gold? It was. We, I think we might. Did we play that last time? But, uh, hmm. Right. Uh, we could do both, actually. Maybe we could do Raid uh, and then. Uh, and, and then, like, finish with some Kung Fu Master. I think we might have... No, we didn't do Kung Fu Master last time. Ah, oh, okay. Right, okay. Well, we'll bring up Raid then. So a couple of people requested that. Hey, my chicken, what's raw? What's happening with you, dude? Hey, how's it going, man? We're looking at US Gold Games tonight, dude. Uh, we've been taking requests all night. We're coming up towards the end of the stream, though, unfortunately. We're going to get a couple more games in, but um, we'll be here for a little bit longer. How you doing, my chicken? Right, hopefully I won't suck at this one. I did do a long play of this about a year or two ago. Uh, yeah, the croc was only a French thing. Uh, 
Uh, definitely, Amstrad France decided that they definitely needed a mascot for the company to market to market the computer, and it did work well actually. Right, okay, press fire space to start. Uh, let's go with easy. <laughs> Enemy launch detected. And now we've got... Oh. Let me... Let me get the controls here. <sighs> Crap. Right. Okay. Let me. I need to. I need to remind myself of how you control this. Okay. So. Oh, that's a takeoff. Right. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, okay, we're closer there, we're closer. Yeah, it's pulled back to open doors, yeah, I remember that. Oh. Fire button to sort of uh, uh, go up vertically, if that's the right word to use. Take off. Forward to thrust forward. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, I was closer there. Okay, okay. Yeah, this is bloody frustrating, Musa. I think it's actually easier on a uh, keyboard. Hey! We finally got one through. The more you get through, obviously, the more lives you have. In oh, no, no, I pressed the wrong thing. Woo! Sneak that one out there. Okay. We got two out. Just okay. We've got three out. Lord Rusburger remembers as well. <laughs> Ass. Damn it. Oh yeah, we're moving a white dot around, I think. I forget. Oh, that's the missile that's been launched. Right, okay, we have to move the white dot to here. That's it, and hit the fire. But pointless section there. Remember this. Okay. What? Avoid, I think I think you can just avoid these tanks and just fly over them. Yes, there we go. Whoa, got the helicopter. Hey, good night, Batman. Good night, dude. Uh, 
ントでシャビー Oh, yeah, when the ship changes color, it's in line with the turret thingy. Or not? Ship changes to pink, that's when you can hit the thing. Boom! There we go. Crondin launch site has been destroyed. Crondin is Tortazo. And then we get another launch site, four launch sites, three launch sites, and then the Kremlin, I think you fight. Oh no, it's this again. Oh, I, I, I need to catch up the chat actually. I've been ignoring the chat a little bit. Oh no, 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 no! The door's closed on me. Yeah, that part was fun, Sean. That was. Oh no, 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 no. Ah! Sean says, Tommy, I just get into this, but I enjoyed it when I got the hang of it. Yeah, 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 absolutely. With a bit of practice. There we go, one out. Uh, Sean, there was a top tip earlier that apparently you can press escape once you've got one out. Uh, to skip to the next level. I don't know if he means that all the rest of the ships then follow you through. I don't know. Oh, I was close on that one. Uh, oh yes, the uh, Commodore 64 version has the full name of Raid Over Moscow and all the proper city names and stuff. Yeah, because they removed uh, a lot of it because worried worried about upsetting the Russians and stuff. Don't launch the ship, just press escape. Oh, I want to see if I can get the rest of them out, dude. Good practice, anyway. There we go. You hatch your original version and put in the actual proper scene names. <laughs> nice. Oh, I was close on that one. Wrecked. Right. Strange they close the doors while a ship is trying to get out. I know! How rude. Moving a small flashing white dot to that white thing there, and off we go.
tank there. You don't have to destroy these things, but you can do if you all. Ah! The missile got me. How rude. Nice scrolling. It's a little bit juddery. It, 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 it does the job. Did the Specky Bush have got the full title of the Raid over Moscow? Actually, I'll have to check the Amstrad version because this got released by both, both US Gold and uh, Amsoft. I have to check which title is used where. I'll, I'll check after this uh, level. This is the last plane. Arse. Oh, it's actually a ridiculously easy level because you can just fly through it like this. Shoot the missiles out of the sky. GG! Shut up, shut up, The ironic GG there. Uh, well, it's an. So it says, well, it's an access software title, and CT released it about one to two years after it came out on the other machines of the Amstrad. Uh, and it came out in '84. So yeah, it probably this probably didn't get the earlier release of uh, as uh, Raid Over Moscow. Then I'll have a look at the box art on the CT uh, Power website. Oh, here we go. Again. Oh! You could just destroy the middle one. And that does the level. Oh! I was not aware of that. I was not aware of that. There you go. Oh, we haven't got many planes left, though. That was close. That was close. <gasps> oh my god, that was so close as well there. Holy crap. Oh, Matt Myers, take care, dude. Sorry I missed you there. You take care, man. <laughs> we'll see you soon. Have a great weekend, dude. Right, okay. And we've got this one. Launch site, yak! <laughs> And basically we get we do just get a repeat of this level. So I think we can just fly through this. I really want to get on to show you the uh oh, oh, oh that's okay. Show you the uh Moscow level. I think it's Moscow when you take on the Kremlin and its defences. That's an interesting level. Make it hard for yourself if you try and lower the lower your, uh, the plane and start shooting ground targets. So 
to just avoid doing that. Boom. Yak launch site has been destroyed. That was quite quick there. Cool, cool, cool. Approaching Dispense Center Landras. Ooh. And it's pretty lazy. It's repeating. Is this repeating the exact same level? I think Land Landas is supposed to be Moscow, basically, or the Kremlin. And they renamed it later on to this. Excuse me, guys. Sorry. Hey, crazy boar. Good evening, dude. Or good morning, more likely. Guten Morgen. Got the helicopter there. Hey, no worries for late arrival, man. You tune in whenever you want, my friend. How's tricks, dude? That was a bit closer comfort. Ah, here we go. I'm going to take a snappy there, just in case you have a problem. What? Okay, I think I pressed the enter key and that ended the game. Right, okay. What you're doing here is you need to destroy parts of the Kremlin. I got, I got wrecked there, so I'm just going to restart that. Move, you push up and down to change the angle of your shot. You've got to destroy all the bits of the Kremlin there. we go finally we'll get this one. Oh, you can get you can get it to try and land on the tank oh no oh I mean I'm an idiot I walked straight into that oh, I'll carry on here ha <laughs> ha you can get it to destroy the tank there, nice. Cool. Uh, what other bits do you have to destroy here? I can't remember. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, cool. What about these bits? I don't know. Oh no, I got shot. Ugh. Kill the people. I know, but you have to destroy bits of the building first. You have to shoot the soldiers. But you have to take out bits of the building first. Uh, sugar. I think that's everything on the building. Does anyone else know for sure? Middle. Uh, what, middle top? The roof? Doesn't seem to be doing anything. Uh... Quite easy to hack the names, but I think all they did was come up with random names that have the same amount of characters. Kremlin equals Landas. Right, okay. This bit's very Kane, yeah. The five doors and make sure there are no guards. Ah, right. Doors first, or?
Right. You have to be really... Oh, gosh. You have to be really quick taking out these uh, soldiers on the wall. You've got to make sure all soldiers are taken out as well. Respawn quite quickly as well. It's annoying. Right, you gotta make sure all of them get knocked out. Oh no! And I died. Ah! Oh. Ah! Oh. oh, I'll give it one more go. And then I'll, I'll probably have to call it there, guys. <laughs> I'm getting quite tired now. I was a little bit careless at the start anyway, so. One. I think it's the six towers you've got to take out, so. What the... It's a bit odd where it thinks that you need to hit. Okay. Maybe it's higher. What? Okay. Okay. to splat the tank. Ha 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 Wrecked. Tank. Oh, watch out for this guy. Right, okay, you've got to destroy these guys, kill these guys, the soldiers on the wall, as quickly as possible. Start respawning very quickly. Tell you what, I'll take a snappy there because we're doing well there. Oh no! Okay, okay, that's cool, that's cool. I, I didn't break it there. Nearly did. What? Oh, he just had to destroy the tank. Right, here we are. Okay, 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 okay. okay. We're in the reactor now. Oh, you have to throw these discs and bounce them off the wall. And kill... You have to kill this thing from behind or something. Ah, oh, I remember now. So you have to kill these things by having it bounce behind you. Oh, 
bounce behind the blue thing, sorry, okay. And I've completely mistimed this. I'll try this again, hang on. Close. Well, I mistimed that. Stop moving. Oh, it was too far. Right, okay, 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 okay. I'll just reload there because I think I'd like I'd like to see the end of the game, wouldn't you guys, before we finish tonight? Damn. Right, okay. Reload again. Try that again. Hey! Okay. We'll take a snappy there. Because this could, this could take a long time. And it's quite... Tricky to do. Damn, missed it. <sighs> oh, bugger. You can see why this is annoying. Oh, no, too, not far across enough. Damn! Might get lucky here. Yes! There we go. We've only got to do that like how many more times? I don't know. Whoa! Caught the disc though, that's good. I think this resets to the start now. It does. Let's take a snappy there. Ho 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 ho! Damn! Okay, that's alright, it's okay. That's gonna make oh, awesome. Go, 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 go. Oh, you little turd. He... <clears throat> yes. The Shandorian reactor chamber. I've just seen the name of it. <laughs> Going down here. Maybe this is right. No, I didn't bounce it off enough. Yes! God damn it, how many more of these do I have to do? Bloody hell. Time's running out. You're right, actually. Oh, I've done this too soon. I'm an idiot. Come on, come on, come on, baby. Yes! Oh, 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 no! Oh, no! Gonna bounce straight off him. Damn. No! Oh, I'm an idiot. How many times do you have to hit this bloody thing? Actually, we'll wait, 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 wait for it to get up there. Oh. Uh -huh. It's 
says ECT time counting down. Oh my god. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, Yes! Right, so that's seven. How many more bloody times do I have to do this? Oh no! Actually, we could do that, we could do that. Watch this. Naughty reload there. I'm doing this because I want to finish and get to bed soon. Damn. there. Risky one. Oh man. Now I've scuffed this here. That's too far. I might get lucky. No. Yes! 30 seconds. I better take a scrappy here. Yes! Oh, eventually. We had to use some snappies there. <laughs> the Kremlin has blown up. Reporting heavy fighting today. Federation task attack attack force destroyed. Shandor Defense Center Landas, uh, aka Moscow. Two pilots returned from the mission. G to the G. Let's have some GGs in the chat. <laughs> I thought I was Tortazo as well, Johnny Boy. I thought I was. Uh, and there you go. You get a high score. <laughs> Ah, oh, there you go. A bit of raid. I think what what were we, what were we gonna do next? Was it beachhead? We were gonna do next. I think I'm gonna leave it there, guys, because it's getting late and uh, I'm tired. That's a tough stage. Yeah. Hey, for Garzi again, dude. How's it going, man? Yeah, it reminds me of Evil or Shandor from Ghostbusters. The name there. Yeah. <laughs> but that final stage. I think. Yeah. You can panic and rush him. Oh. Lord Risbergu! Oh my good oh dude! The four ninety-nine dollars with the super chat there! Holy crap, Risbergu! Thank you! He says, congrats, my lord. <laughs> oh bless you. Can we have bananas in the chat one more time tonight for Lord Risbergu there? Let's see the bananas rain down. Thank you, Rasperku. Thank you, mate. That's very kind of you, dude. Cheers. <laughs> Lots of love, Rasperku. Thank you, Matt. Uh, thank you, Musa. And uh, Pudding's there as well. Awesome, man. I'm glad you had fun tonight, mate. Yeah, it's just a nice chilled stream. You know, I had no goals to beat a Pacific game uh, or whatever. Just, uh, it was just a US Gold was just handy theme to have a look at games. There are some good US Gold games, some not so, most mostly not so good games, but there you go. Tell you what, let me just run the, uh, let's run the credits real quick. Roll credits, hopefully that should pop up any second. There. Uh, but thank you everyone. Uh, I'm going to call it there, so thank you tonight uh, for, the, for the, dono the donations from Kate, <laughs> Tom's Farm, uh, Retro Rewind, Manship of Tall Paul, Lewis Vodou, and Respergu. Thank you very, very, very much, guys. I'd my cap to you. Um, uh, thank you for everyone for tuning in tonight. Don't forget, if, you, if you're still up and about and you want to talk to someone, there's my Discord, of course. And often there's a bit of an after party going on in there in both the uh, voice chat channels and just chatting in the general chat, of course, as well. You've got the book stream tomorrow. That's right, Retro and Lim. Uh, Yellow Belly's not streaming on Sunday. 
Uh, but I believe Mikey probably will be. Um, so thank you everyone for tuning in tonight. Have a fantastic weekend. I survived to the end without having a migraine. That's great. And uh, take care, everyone. And uh, hopefully I should have a video ready for Monday. It might be pushing it. Uh, I've got a lot of work to do on it. So we'll see. If not, I'll be streaming on Monday on Twitch as well. It's Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. And uh, I'll see you all again very, very soon. All right, guys. Thank you for all the GGs and lovely messages there. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, Texie's streaming in, in place of Yellow Bunny. Right, thank you, Texie. Make sure you check uh, Texie88's channel out. Subscribe and jump in his stream on Sunday evening. There you go. Pods out for Man Shovel as well. <laughs> thank you, everyone. Take care. Good night. Lots of love and uh, have a great weekend. All right, guys. Take care. Bye. Bye.